transphobe or ally. Star Trek edition. Oh, Kirk, he's obviously a transphobe, especially given what we know about William Shatner. Yikes. Spock, clearly an ally, because, you know, transphobe is very illogical. McCoy, easily a transphobe. I mean, he's wildly racist already, especially towards Spock. God, he's definitely an ally. He doesn't seem like a very judgmental person. Or a Definitely an ally, and she will stick up for you. Now, Chekhov's an interesting case, because he is Russian, and Russia doesn't tend to be very compassionate towards trans people. However, I think Chekhov would be an ally, because, you know, the spirit of Star Trek is getting along with other people. Uh, Nurse Chapel, definitely an ally. She'd slip you the hormone medications you need. Khan is definitely a trans folk. I mean, he was on the space seat, which, I mean, that's pretty much SpaceX. And Sulu... He is the biggest ally of them all. Transphobe or ally? Star Wars edition. Luke would most likely be a transphobe. When you think of allies, does rural and religious come to mind? Now, you can be rural and religious and still be an ally, but it's not very common. Leia. I feel like Leia would definitely be an ally. She's met a whole bunch of different people and she seems very empathetic. Now, Han Solo and Lando, I think they're both huge allies. Han and Lando have probably dated a trans person at least once. They've probably sent in hormone shipments to those who need it. Obi-Wan would probably be a trans folk. He's very judgmental. He's anti-heterosexual relationships. Yoga would be an ally because at around 900 years old he's seen a lot of different people and can sort of understand what you've gone through. R2-D2 and C-3PO. They're a gay couple. They're most likely allies. Job of the Hut. Now I think Job of the Hut is only an ally during June if you know what I mean. And Vader and Palpatine they're just transphobic fascists. Transphobe or ally? Breaking Bad edition. Spoilers by the way. Walter I think would be a reluctant ally. I mean, he's dealing with a bunch of high schoolers. There's probably at least a trans student there. However, on the other hand, I think Heisenberg wouldn't give a shit unless you're buying his blue candy. Jesse. I think Jesse is a stealth trans guy. He has a very trans guy vibe, but I think he's living stealth. Skylar, she doesn't give a shit. If you came out to her, she wouldn't support you but wouldn't also be hostile towards you. Hank. He's a racist cop, so he's most likely transphobic as well. Marie. She's probably a turf. Flynn. He is a major trans ally. He knows what it's like to change his name and his place in society. Saul. He's an ally if you pay him. Mike would be an ally if you're a part of his family, but to anyone else, he doesn't give a shit. Badger and Skinny Pete. They're both allies and are very chill about you coming out. Now finally, the main villains of the show, Gus and Tuco. They don't give a unless you're buying their blue can. Transphobe or ally, Gravity Falls edition. Spoilers, by the way. Dipper is a trans guy. Mabel is a canonical ally because she's friends with this canonical trans character. Brenda, she is canonically trans. And while I have problems with her, and if you want to hear about that, you can watch my one hour deep dive on Gravity Falls, but nonetheless, she is canonically trans. Therefore, it is canon that Candy is a trans ally. Likewise, Stan is a trans ally. Seuss is a trans ally. Ford is a transphobe. And you might be thinking, where am I getting that from? He voted for Reagan. He voted for Reagan. I suspect Robbie is a trans guy. And I think Wendy is not only an ally, I think she might be bi. Pacifica is a trans folk. She'll find anything to put you down. Gideon is gender non-conforming. And Blendon, he's an ally. Trans folk or ally. Gravity Falls Edition, part two. Spoilers. Lazy Susan, non-binary. Because when her memory's wiped, she doesn't remember what her gender is. Bill Cipher, he's non-binary and sees gender as something below him. The cops, they're gay allies. Gabe, he's a trans medicalist. Bodacious T is an NB icon. The love god is a transphobe and he will guilt trip you over your gender. Susie's abuela, an ally. The gnomes, they consider themselves part of super straight, therefore transphobes. The little pudgeons. They're allies if you're an ally to them. Agent Power and Triggers, they don't care. They're not allies and they're not transphobes either. Quentin Tremblay, ally. They were supportive to Ben Franklin and their transition. Beardley, he's a trans ally. He helped Dipper with his masculinity. The Shapeshifter, gender fluid. Bug Gleeful, he's an ally to Gideon and his gender nonconformity. Marmando, 
He's a trans ally because mermaids. Summer Ween Trickster. He's an ally because he wants to be appreciated too for what he is. Candy. And finally, McGucket. He is an ally. He knows what it's like to have the world against you. Transphobe or ally? Star Wars prequels edition. Anakin. He's an ally. He knows how religion is often used to hurt people. Obi-Wan. He's a transphobe because of how judgmental he is. Qui-Gon. He's an ally because compared to Obi-Wan, he's much more chill and relaxed. Padme. She's a performative ally. After all, she is a sinner. Jar Jar Binks. He's an ally. He knows what it's like to be a social outcast. Mace Windu. He's a transphobe and a complicit one at that. Jango Fett is an ally. He's okay with cloning, so therefore he'd be okay with you transitioning as well. Count Dooku. He's a transphobe, and he's probably the kind who would insist that there are only two genders. Which is false, by the way. Darth Maul. He doesn't care. And finally, Palpatine. He's a transphobic fascist. Transphobe or ally? Star Trek Voyager Edition. Janeway is an ally. I feel like if you came out to her, she'd want to schedule weekly coffee meetings with you. Not only for the coffee, but to... See how you're doing with your transition. Seven of Nine. She's an ally. After all, she had transitioned in a way. Chakotay is an ally. Native American cultures tend to be quite accepting of trans people. And I'm sure that's true for whatever tribe Chakotay is a part of. The Doctor is an ally. He's very knowledgeable about trans healthcare. Tom Paris. He's an ally, but he has some chaser qualities. Neelix is an ally. I feel like if you came out to Neelix, he'd want to have a celebratory meal in honor of you coming out. Kess, she's an ally, but doesn't really know much about what being trans is. After all, she's only three years old. Harry Kim, I feel like he's a trans man and he transitioned as a child. Tuvok is an ally. Transphobia is very illogical. Horace, she's an ally and knows a lot about intersectionality. Icheb is an ally and you might be thinking, huh? That's right, Manu Interyami follows me on the platform formerly known as X, so he's definitely an ally. Transphobe or ally? Star Trek Deep Space Nine edition. Spoilers, by the way. Ben Sisko, he'd be an ally and would stick up for you if your rights were being threatened. Ogo is an ally. He'd help you fill out the legal paperwork you need. Jadzia Dax, she is a trans woman. Jake Sisko, I think Jake is a trans boy and he transitioned at a young age with the support of his father. O'Brien, he's an ally but sort of has a it's none of my business approach, which is still pretty good. Pork, he'll support you all year round but he'll only put the pride flags up for June. Bashir, he's an expert on gender affirmation surgery. Kira, she's an ally. She'll get your pronouns right as quickly as she can. Worf, now I say he was a transphobe in my TNG episode, but in DS9, he turns himself around and ends up marrying Jadzia Dax. Ezri Dax, non-binary. Nog, I feel like he would attend a seminar on how to be inclusive, so ally. And lastly, Rom. I think Rom is bisexual and an ally to trans people. Transphobe or ally, Wizard of Oz edition. Dorothy is definitely an ally. I mean, friend of Dorothy exists for a reason. Queer people just love the Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy loves us. The Scarecrow is an ally. He may not have brains and not understand what being trans is, but he'll support you nonetheless. The Tin Man is an ally. Sure, he's missing a heart, but you know, he's at least got some brains on him. The Cowardly Lion is an ally. He's a queer icon for a reason. The Wizard is actually genderqueer in the book. Aunt Em and Uncle Henry, they're definitely transphobes. I mean, they probably blame trans people for their farm not doing so well. The Munchkins are allies. I'm pretty sure at least half of them are trans. The trees, they don't care if you're trans or not, they're still gonna throw apples at you. Likewise, the flying monkeys are also indifferent. They don't care if you're trans or not. Now, Glenda, this is gonna surprise some of you, but she's a transphobe. I mean, she uses the whole good or bad thing based on beauty standards. That's pretty low, isn't that? But finally, the Wicked Witch. She's a lesbian queen and a trans ally. Transphobe or ally, Muppet edition. Kermit is an ally. He wants to make you feel comfortable. Miss Piggy is an ally. She will fight transphobes. Fozzie is an ally. I could see him doing a charity stand-up special for the Trevor Project. Beaker and Honeydew. They're a gay couple and are most likely ally. Not to mention, I feel like they would make hormones for anyone who needs them. Walter is an ally. I mean, 
the first movie he was in was literally about finding his place in the world. Animal is a chaser, although I have to admit, Animal's still pretty lovable. The rest of the Electric Mayhem, they're all allies and big hippies. Statlor and Waldorf, the first gay couple most people were exposed to in their childhood, and, well, they're allies. They'll heckle you, but they're still allies. Rolf, he's an ally, and frankly, I kinda wanna come out to Rolf. Pepe is a chase. Rizzo doesn't care at all. The Swedish chef, he's an ally, and would try to defend you, but no one could understand what he's saying. Bobo, he's an ally, and would speak up if he heard any transphobia. Scooter, he's an ally, and he will stick by your side. Sam the Eagle, he's an ally, because transphobia is un-American, because he knows American history. And finally, Gonzo. Gonzo is a non-binary icon. Transphobe or ally, the office edition. Spoilers. Michael, he's an ally, he's just really insensitive, but he, at least he's trying. Dwight is kind of an ally, he thinks it's no one's business. Jim is an ally, he wants to be respectful towards you, this may not have been something he's thought about before. Pam, she's a big ally. If you came out to her, she'd probably push the office to have everyone wear a pronoun pin. Creed, he thinks transitioning is a brilliant way to escape the cops. Aaron is an ally. If your trans famine came out to her, she'd want to help you with your makeup. Kevin is a transphobe. In one episode, he misgendered Brandon and Tina. Andy is an ally, but he's a bit performative. Jan is a transphobe and would tell you to your face that you transitioning is impeding Dunder Mifflin. Hobie, he's an ally and would host a meeting about inclusivity. Angela, she's a transphobe. Stanley, he's an ally and is all about privacy. Holly is an ally. Ryan is a transphobe and he probably follows Andrew Tate. Kelly, if you tried to come out to her, she wouldn't understand what you're saying because she wouldn't let you f talk. Meredith, she's an ally because she's very liberal. Robert is a transphobe. Daryl is an ally. I honestly could see him mentoring trans guys in the warehouse. Likewise, Phyllis is an ally. I could see her mentoring trans women. Natalie is an ally and she would stick up for you. David Wallace, he wouldn't have anything to say while he's at work, but when he's off the clock, he'll say, I'm so proud of you. Packer, despite the name, he's a transphobe and a misogynist. Hank, he's an ally, just a little bit confused about the whole situation. Oscar, he's gay and most likely would support you. Transphobe or ally, Parks and Rec edition. Leslie, she's an ally and will fight for you. Likewise, Ben is also an ally and he will fight for you. April, she has a bunch of trans friends. Ron, he thinks the government should stay the hell away from trans people. He's an ally. Andy, he's an ally. He doesn't really understand trans stuff and he'd likely get confused trying to explain it. But nonetheless, he's generally supportive of Anne, if you're trans femme, Anne's gonna go shopping with you. Chris Traeger, He'll remember your name. Donna, she's an ally and she could tell you to treat yourself. John Ralphio and Mona, they are rich transphobes. Jerry is an ally, although inevitably he end up outing you on accident. Tom, he's an ally and will go all out for Pride Month to show support to you. Mark's an ally, but he's also a neoliberal. Yikes. Jeremy Jam is a transphobe. Diane, she's an ally and a vice principal. She will stick up for you. Tammy wants a transphobe, but she'd likely tell you you can't change your sex. Tammy too is a chaser. Bobby Newport, he's a transphobic politician. Purg, he heard trans women are women. Transphobe or ally, Gravity Falls edition. Part three, spoilers. Tyler, as mayor of Gravity Falls, he'd tell transphobes to get. Tambry, she's dating Robbie who I think is a trans guy. Thompson, he's an ally. If he hears anyone misgender you, he will correct them. Lee and Nate, they're allies too. After all, they're friends with Robbie. Gorney, he may be traumatized, but at least he says trans rights are human rights. Keyhole, he's shocked whenever anything transphobic happens. Xyler and Kraz, they're a bisexual polyamorous power couple. Rumble McSkirmish is an ally. He'll defend you. And you don't even have to tell him that a transphobe unalived your father. Woodpecker guy. He knows it's a slippery slope when you start taking away queer rights. Tad Strange. If you ask him, he says trans rights. Multi Bear. Trans. Baba. This totally original band are definitely allies to queer people. If you're a trans girl, they're going to sing 
That girl is you. Ooh, ooh. Melanie, I think she's a trans woman. Gompers is a goat and doesn't understand. The Ma and Pa ghosts. They're racist, so therefore most likely to be transphobic. Manly Dan is a transphobe. He constantly misgenders Dipper. The Hand Witch, she's a chaser, not just towards trans people, but anyone with a heartbeat. Pacifica's parents, transphobes. The Dipper clones, they're all trans because Dipper is trans. Pituator is a trans ally. Corn Maze Girl, I see her as a transphobe, and Dipper could have been T for T, but no, he was just practicing. Pool Check is a transphobe, and we'll probably show you there are only two genders, which is bull. <laughs> Blind Ivan has no clue who he is. Jean Luc is an ally if you pay him well enough. And finally, Waddles. Waddles is a trans ally. Transphobe or ally? Chronicles of Narnia edition. Yes, I am aware of the inspirations for this series. Please, remain civil in the comments. For f sake, remain civil. Spoilers. Peter, he is a transphobe and the do as you're told type. Susan, I feel like she would become an ally, especially after what happened to her in the end of the last book. I mean, what better way to take you away from judgmental people than the people who are judging you for wearing too much makeup. Egmond is a self-absorbed transphobe. Lucy is a non-judgmental ally. Mr. Tomness, he's an ally. However, as an atheist, I don't know how I'd feel being called a daughter of Eve. And also, I don't understand why Lucy inherently trusts this guy. I mean, he tried to turn over to the White Witch. Sure, he eventually stopped in the end, but still. Mrs. McCreevy, a transphobe. The professor is an ally and he'll use logic to defend you. The beavers are transphobes. The witch, she'll offer transition goals as your temptation. Father Christmas, if you've read the book, you know he's a wild sexist. Now, Aslan's a bit of an interesting case because I feel like in the movie he would be quite transphobic, but in the books he's more of an ally. In the book, there were some pretty homoerotic parts they took out. Transphobe or ally, Harry Potter edition. Wait, something feels wrong here. Transphobe or ally, Harry Potter edition. Yes, I am aware of the gigantic elephant in the room. She who must not be named is condemned by me in this video series for everything she has done to trans people. Today we're going to be looking at Hogwarts students. Spoilers. Harry is an ally. He's lived in the closet for a long time and knows the struggle. Ron is a trans boy. If we're talking about the movies, I say Hermione is a trans girl. And if we're talking about the books, she's a turf. Which means in the movie, Ron and Hermione are T for T. Fred and George, they're both trans boys and they transition together. Neville is a trans boy. Draco is a stealth, bisexual trans boy. Crab and Goyle are transphobes. Oliver Wood, he's an ally, but just a little bit confused. Cho Chang, ally. Ginny Weasley, she's a trans girl, which brings a whole nother layer to Molly Weasley waiting until she had a daughter. Cedric Diggory, huge trans ally. Now before finally, Luna Lovegood, she's a trans girl. Transphobe or ally, Harry Potter edition. Part 2. Villains. Spoilers. Voldemort. He's almost as transphobic as she who must not be named. Bellatrix. It's almost like she's a self-insert for whoever wrote this series. 
Lucius Malfoy, he's a Republican lawmaker. Narcissa Malfoy, the wife of a Republican lawmaker. Dolores Umbridge, she will do whatever she can to find your dead name so she can dead name you herself. Quirrell, trans guy. Barney Crouch Sr., I see no difference between him and Ron DeSantis. Barney Crouch Jr., anyone who uses Polyjuice Potion is an ally. Peter Pettigrew, he's absolutely terrified of trans people. Transphobe or ally? Harry Potter edition, part three, secondary characters. Arthur and Molly Weasley, they're allies. After all, all their kids are trans, which means Bill and Percy are trans as well. Sirius Black, he's a mentor to trans boys. All the Dursleys, they're transphobes, except for Dudley who eventually grows out of it. Stan Shunpike, transphobe. Mad Eye, he's an ally, but he doesn't show any sort of affection to anyone. Cornelius Fudge, transphobes. And finally, Tonks, a non-binary icon. Transphobe or ally, Harry Potter edition, part four, non-human characters. Dobby is an ally and would be very happy for you. Creature is a transphobe. Buckbeak is an ally. Hedwig is an ally. I mean, come on. The goblins at Gringotts are transphobes. Whenever you change your name, they're probably gonna reject that anyway and say they couldn't process it properly. Winky, transphobe. They spread hate speech. The ghosts, they're allies. They've seen a lot of trans students come and go. And finally, the Soaring Hat. The Soaring Hat is an ally because they understand self-determination. Transphobe or ally? Harry Potter edition, part five. Hogwarts staff. Now Dumbledore, you would think he would be an ally because he's gay, but no, he would force you to live with your transphobic relatives. McGonagall, she'd fight for you. Hagrid is a transphobe. He'd force you to live with your transphobic family. Filch, he's indifferent. All he cares about is, are you out of bed or not? Lupin, he's an ally and would tell you how proud he is of you. Trelawney, she's a trans woman. Flitwick, he's an ally and I could see him being a mentor to trans students at Hogwarts. Professor Sprout, she'd start a trans herbology club. Gilderoy Lockhart, he's a performative ally. And finally, Severus Snape, he's a transphobe. Transphobe or ally return to Oz edition. Dorothy is still an ally because she still loves us and we still love her. Aunt Emma and Uncle Henry are still trans folks and if they found out Dorothy was trans, they'd probably send them to the same treatment center, which I don't even think I can discuss here. Belana is an ally and will pass wisdom along to you. Dr. Worley is a trans folk. Nurse Wilson, a transphobe. TikTok is a transphobe and you might be wondering why. It's because they gave me a strike for taking down transphobia because apparently I'm a raging transphobe according to them. By the way, I'm planning to bring back my weird comment series as a Patreon exclusive now due to all the trouble I've been having. And you should be able to see some later this week. So follow the link on screen. Jack Pumpkinhead, one of the sweetest characters I've ever seen in any movie and he is a huge ally. The Gump, is an ally. He knows what it's like to not have the bottom half of his body be what he was expecting. The Gnome King is a transphobe. He'll probably try some trick on you or something. Finally, Princess Ozma. She is a trans girl in the books. Transphobe or ally Sally Pride Edition. Wait, that's me. Today's my one year anniversary on YouTube and my internet debut as Sally Pride. And for this video, I'm going to be looking at original characters I've created. Spoilers! So I'm Ms. Sally Pride with three Z's and a Y, because why not? And I'm a trans woman, so I really hope I'm not a transphobe. Larry the Bus Driver, he's a transphobe and an ableist. I mean, he stalks trans women and throws people's autism out the window. Actually, Rich Girl, she doesn't know what being trans is. But if you told her she'd think it's kind of weird. Morgan Jorgen, she doesn't give a <laughs> The trans folk, despite the name, she was a trans woman deeply in the closet. And finally, Mrs. Thea Point. Now, you, if you've seen my videos, you might be thinking, who the hell is that? Well, she's an abandoned character I came up with in the first few months of making these videos. But I eventually sort of scrapped it. But the idea behind her character was that she was like this track femme parody. And, well, some of the jokes I was thinking of wouldn't exactly fly on YouTube and TikTok. But if you want me to make some of those skits anyway, let me know down in the comments and I can put them on my Patreon. 
Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Transphobe or ally King of the Hill edition. Spoilers. Hank. Within the show, he's a transphobe, but I think he has the potential to be an incredible trans ally. Let me explain. The whole show is about Hank learning to accept the world around him. And he accepts gay people, at least. I think, by extension, he would be able to accept trans people if you honestly explained it to him. Not to mention, I could see him mentoring trans boys once he understood what being trans is like. After all, he knows how to change his gender marker in the state of Texas, and he knows about aisle 8A and can help you through there with your discomfort. So therefore, I think he has the potential to be a great trans ally. Peggy, she's a performative ally, but generally has good intentions. After all, she's friends with Carolyn. Bobby is an ally and he will brainstorm names with you if you came out to him. Luann's a transphobe. I could see her quoting the Bible or possibly even pulling out the manger babies if you came out to her. Yikes. Connie is an ally. She could write an article about you. After all, she wants to be a journalist. Min and Con. They're turfs. Boomhauer is a closeted chaser. Joseph is a confused teenager, and frankly, I think trans women like myself could probably confuse him. Dale, he thinks your assigned gender birth is a government conspiracy. Nancy is a transphobe. John Redcorn's an ally, but also a big of a chase. Lucky, he wouldn't get it, but would try to be supportive of you. Bill is an ally and would be jealous of your happiness. Cotton, he's a sexist transphobe, and trans women like myself would likely perplex him to no end. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Transphobe or ally, Friday the 13th edition. Spoiler. Jason is a transphobe. After all, anyone who's obsessed with the sex lives of others can't possibly be a trans ally. Barry and Claudette, they're probably transphobes. Annie, I could see her lecturing trans kids. He knows, he kind of gets annoyed by transphobes, but also sort of agrees with them. Ralph is a transphobe and will tell you all about the dangers of transitioning. Ned is probably a transphobe. After all, there's something wrong with Ned and he also dressed like an indigenous person. Alice is an ally. Steve gives me bisexual energy, so ally. Marcy, she has no problems befriending trans people. Brenda, she's an ally. She tries not to assume things about people. Jack, he doesn't get it, but he'll try to be supportive. Bill, he'll defend you with a sword. And finally, Pamela Voris, transphobe. Transphobe or ally Rocky Horror Picture Show Edition. Spoilers. Bragg Majors, he's an ally and really sort of unfazed by Bennett Weiss. Now I'm a bit conflicted on her. On one hand, I could see her being liberal given enough time, but on the other hand, I could also see her being a turf, so I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comments. Riff Raff is complicit. Now, Eggie and Rocky, I feel like they'd be allies because they know how if you're created and it doesn't quite match up what you were expecting, so I could see them maybe being allies that way. The criminologist is an ally and will explain trans people to the audience. Dr. Scott is an ally and really is unfazed by trans people. Now make sure to leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans content. And finally, Dr. Frankenfurter, uh, despite him calling himself a transvestite and a transsexual, both outdated terms, I'm gonna say he's not an ally because He'll still unalive you. Transphobe or ally? Beauty and the Beast edition. Belle is a trans woman because I said so. Beast is an ally. He knows what it's like to look in the mirror and see someone who he wasn't expecting. Gaston is a transphobe and a chaser. Lafoe, he's complicit and admires transphobes like Gaston. Maurice, he's a trans ally, especially to his daughter. Lumiere and Cogsworth. They're definitely allies. Now, this may upset a few people, but Miss Potts is a homophobe because she has a very heteronormative way of explaining things. And finally, Chip. Chip is, of course, an ally. Transphobe or ally Ghostbusters edition. Peter is a chaser and treats women like objects. Ray finds trans people Fascinating. Egon is an arrow ace icon and a trans ally. In the movie, when Gozar comes, he literally says, Gozar can be any gender they want to be. Ally. Winston, he'd be an ally if there's a steady paycheck involved. Dana is a trans woman. Janine is an ally, but she doesn't really care. If you came out to her, she'd probably be like, yeah, whatever. Lewis is a chaser and a nice guy. And finally, Walter, the EPA guy. He's a trans man because... Well, he has no d 
but that doesn't make him any less of a man. Transphobe or Ally Dungeons and Dragons Animated Series Edition. Dungeon Master, he disappears whenever you try to come out to him. Hank, he'll fight transphobia in the group so that they stay on focus of going home, which unfortunately they never do. Pesto's an ally and he'd try to help you transition medically, but he wouldn't do so well like because he's not very good at magic. Eric is not only a transphobe, but a closeted trans woman. Sheila is a trans girl. Deanna is a huge ally and probably the first person Sheila came out to. Bobby is a trans boy. And of course, Uni is an ally. And finally, Venger. Venger is a transphobe. After all, he is the face of evil. Transphobe or ally Scooby-Doo edition. Scooby is an ally. That's of course if you give him plenty of Scooby snacks. Shaggy is definitely an ally. He's very chill and will offer you an eggplant burger if you know what I mean. Fred is a chaser. Daphne will unmask transphobes for you. Velma is a lesbian icon and she'll make hormones for you. That is, if she doesn't lose her glasses. And finally, Scrappy-Doo. He's a transphobe and a very annoying one at that, although transphobes by their very nature are annoying. Transphobe or ally Silence of the Lambs edition. Clarice is a turf. This is a turf film after. Hannibal is a transphobe because they misgender the next character on this list. Buffalo Bill. Trans, but not a very good representation. It was made by people who don't understand what being trans is. Transphobe or ally, Little Shop of Horrors edition. Seymour Krellborn, he's an ally and wants to do the right thing, but he'll inevitably get lost in the end. Audrey, she's a stealth trans woman. Mr. Mushnick, he's an ally if trans people are good for business. If not, he doesn't want anything to do with us. Orin, he's a chaser in denial and a transphobe. Arthur Denton, he's extremely curious about trans people and will get very involved even if you don't want him. Wink Wilkerson, he's an ally and wants to be affirming to trans people and he'll even interview on his radio show. And finally, Audrey 2. Audrey 2 is a transphobe because, well, Trans allies and world domination don't exactly go together. Transphobe or ally Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves edition. Spoilers. Again, he's an ally. Helga is an ally and will fight for you. Jonathan is an ally. Kira is a trans girl. Cause I said so. Forge is a performative ally. Sophia is a queen and an ally. Doric is a trans woman. Because I said so. And finally, Simon. He's a trans man because I said so. transphobe or ally Nightmare Before Christmas edition. Jack, he's heavily fascinated by gender, but in the end he'd royally f it up. Sally is an ally and that's not just because we share a name. Oogie Boogie, he will torture you whether you're trans or not. Dr. Finkelstein, he's an ally and can perform gender affirmation surgery. The mayor of Halloween Town, he's terrified of trans people, but that's sort of perfect. The trick or treaters, they're all trans. Zero is an ally. And finally, Santa Claus. Santa Claus is a trans ally and puts transphobes on the naughty list. Transphobe or ally, Dungeons and Dragons classes. Barbarians, they're either huge trans allies or are trans themselves. Clerics, they're religious, so you might think they could be transphobic, but they also have a high wisdom score, so therefore, they are allies. Druids, they're allies for the same reason as clerics. Fighters, they're allies and recruit trans men. Monks, they're allies and half of them are trans femmes. Paladins are transphobes. Rangers, half of them are non-binary. Rogue, I imagine it's the most popular class for trans people. The Sorcerers, they're transphobes because they care too much about biology and bloodline. Warlocks, they're allies because they get why you want to bargain for magic. Wizard, it's another class full of NBs. Artificers, everyone who's an artificer is trans and autistic. And I can say that since I'm trans and autistic. Blood hunters, they're sworn to protect the innocent. Therefore, they are trans allies and will hunt down trans folks. And finally, bards. Bards are chasers, obviously. Transphobe or ally, the Hobbit edition. Thorin and the rest of the dwarves are trans men. Bilbo Baggins. He starts out as a transphobe. After all, that's what Bilbo Baggins hates. But in the end, on the course of his journey and spending time with the dwarves, he comes to accept them. Gandalf. I'm saving Gandalf for tomorrow's video where I talk about Lord of the Rings. So make sure to follow and subscribe for more. And finally, Smog. He's a transphobe. Not only is he hoarding a bunch of treasures and stuff like that, he's also hoarding 
hormones from trans people. Transphobe. Transphobe or ally, Lord of the Rings edition. And yes, I'm doing this as a trilogy. Part one, the hobbits of Lord of the Rings. Frodo is a trans man. Samwise Ganji, he's a trans man and T for T Frodo. I know he has kids and he's married, but two things on that. First, it's a world full of magic. And second, when he's getting married, he has those eyes for Frodo, if you know what I mean. Honestly, I think that wedding was just a cover for the Shire. Merry and Pippin, they will try to throw you a proper gender reveal party, but you know, it'll end up blowing up. Believe it or not, there's also an extended cut of this video on my Patreon that you can watch right now. And finally, Bilbo. He's gone down the way of transphobia because, well, the ring can bring out evil in people. Transphobe or ally Lord of the Rings edition, part two. Villains. Sauron is a transphobe. Saruman is a transphobe and very outward about it. The orcs, they're transphobic trolls. Grimma, an internet transphobe. And finally, Gollum. He has a history with transphobia, but he's getting better at it because he knows how people often judge him by his own appearance, which is wrong, by the way. Transphobe or ally, Lord of the Rings edition. Part 3. Spoilers. Aragorn is a trans man. Arwen is a trans woman. Maga Ag, it's incredible to watch Aragorn and Arwen as a bi-ish person in my case. You know, Bormir helps you transition. After all, one does not simply transition. Gandalf the Grey, despite the fact that his famous line is, You shall not pass. He's actually an ally. If someone was transitioning later in life, he would say, People don't transition too early or too late. They transition at precisely the right time. Gandalf the White is an even bigger ally than before. After all, he did transition. Gimli, he's a trans man and proud of that fantastic beard he has. Legolas, he gives me he-they vibes and that's awesome. Elrond, he was once a drag queen and great friends with a trans woman. Ally. Galadriel. A trans woman. Parliament, he's a performative ally, and when trans people are checking in, he says, I got a special room for trans people. Transphobe or ally classic Halloween characters. The Headless Horseman, he's an ally because he knows sometimes your body doesn't match what you expect. Frankenstein and Igor, they would perform gender affirmation surgery on you if you asked. Frankenstein's monster. He is a trans man. And finally, Dracula. He's from Transylvania and likes his privacy, so trans ally. Transphobe or ally? Horror villain edition. Beware, spoilers for the following. Freddy Krueger is a transphobe. After all, for many trans people, sleep is one of those ways we escape gender dysphoria. Chucky, let's have Chucky answer this one. I have a queer kid, gender fluid. You're the cool thing. I'm not a monster, Jake. See, transphobes, you're worse than Chucky. Jason, watch my Friday the 13th video for Jason. Patrick Bateman, he tells friends, knock off with the transphobic stuff. But on the other hand, he also would tell a trans woman she's doing it wrong if she's not wearing a dress to the office. And he's also very much a chaser and very much has a sort of gay panic thing to him. So, I guess transphobe? Leatherface has had this sort of interesting relationship with gender over the years, but I think in the end it all comes down to, are you on their property or not? Michael Myers, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to wait until Halloween day where I talk about Halloween. Ghostface, they don't care. They'll still unalive you if you're having sex, you drink, do drugs, or leave the room saying, I'll be right back. Pennywise is an ally, and he will turn into a trans person to scare a trans foe. Norman Bates, often mistaken for being trans, but is not in fact trans. Jigsaw, tune in tomorrow where you can see transphobe or ally, Saw Edition. And finally, Angela Baker. A trans woman, but really terrible representation. Transphobe or ally Saw edition. Spoilers. Jigsaw is 100% a trans ally. His whole thing is about people learning to appreciate life. Who, well, who appreciates life more than trans people who have transitioned? Sure, he wouldn't be so kind to people who 
are still eggs, but he help you crack your egg at least. But I can think of a certain group of people who are prime subject for his games. That would be transphobes. I mean, who doesn't appreciate life more than people who want other people to feel worse about themselves and spend all day harassing trans people? Seriously, if you're a transphobe and Jigsaw were real, you would probably be one of his targets. Uh, that's not an encouragement of violence by any means, but just a statement of fact. Adam, he's an ally and pretty liberal. Lawrence, he's an ally and follows the AMA guidelines. Amanda, she's an ally and agrees with Jigsaw. David Tapp, he's a cop, and cops haven't had the best relationship with trans people, but I think since he's a movie cop who goes above and beyond duties, I'd say he's an ally who would fight for you. Zepp is a transphobe. Daniel Matthews, he's a demi-boy. Eric Matthews, I think he starts out as a transphobe, but over time learns to accept his demi-boy child. Addison, she's an ally because she knows what it's like to have the world think negatively of you. Xavier, he's a transphobe and a piece of <laughs> Jonas is an ally, he seems pretty laid back. Obi is a transphobe and very selfish. Lynn, a medical bureaucrat who denies gender affirmation surgeries. Rig is a movie cop who tries to do the right thing, so ally. Jill would 100% support their kid if they were trans. Brit is too smart to be a trans foe. Luba is a turf. Charles doxes trans people. Malik is a recovering trans phobe. Seth does not care about trans people in any way, shape, or form. William, he denies coverage to trans people. Bobby, he claims to have met trans people before, but that never happened. Nina has outed people. Mark Hoffman, he's a transphobe and has unalived people before, so transphobe. Transphobe or ally, Beetlejuice edition. Adam and Barbara, they're allies because they know what it's like to be in a system that isn't supportive of them. Lydia, she's a trans girl. Oh, though, he's queer coded, but I don't think he'd be friendly to trans people. Malia and Charles, they would exploit trans people. Juno, she's an ally. She wants to do the right thing and even warns them about Beetlejuice. The receptionist, she uses singular they them pronouns correctly of one of the people in the waiting room. And finally, Beetlejuice. Come on, you know I'm a chaser. Happy Halloween, everyone. Transphobe or ally? Halloween edition. Michael Myers, he's never heard of trans people before. Laurie Strobe, she's a trans woman because why not? Lindsay and Tommy, I think they're both trans and they switch names and wardrobes. Annie, she'll make insensitive jokes. Lydia, she's insecure about herself, so she's probably not going to be accepting the trans people. Bracket, he's a pretty chill guy, but I don't know how supportive he'd be of trans people. Trans people and cops haven't exactly had a supportive history together. And finally, Dr. Loomis. He's a transphobe and is the kind of doctor who will tell you, you can't possibly be trans. Happy Dia de los Muertos to those who celebrate. Transphobe or ally? Coco edition. Spoilers. Miguel. He's an ally because he knows what it's like to have his family not being supportive of him. I mean, when I was Miguel's age, I didn't have a secret sash of music, but I did have a secret sash of feminine clothes. Ernesto has no opinion that you're trans. Mama Coco is an ally. She would be really sweet to you if you came out to her. Imelda, she starts out as a transphobe, but becomes better in the end. Julio, he tries to be supportive, but he'll inevitably make a mistake here or there. Miguel's abuelita, I could see her starting off being a transphobe, but learn to be a trans ally if Mama Coco told her, hey, just accept people the way they are. Hector, he gives me trans man vibes. Transphobe or ally, friends edition. Before we begin, I want to state here up front that the majority of this video was written before the passing of Matthew Perry. His passing is a shock to a lot of us, and it hurts for a lot of us. He brought joy, laughter, and heart to many of the loved ones around him, and much more beyond that. And while well, Friends is criticized often through a modern lens of how it represents people, it's important to recognize that Friends was progressive for its time. Even with that, Matthew Perry, well on set, did fight back against certain homophobic jokes. So for that, we should say thank you, Matthew Perry. 
and thank you for all the laughter and joy you've brought to all of us over the many years. Not only were you a great comedic and dramatic actor, by all accounts, you seem like a great human being. Thank you. Now let's resume to the video. Spoilers. Chandler Bing. Pretty complicated parental situation right there, and there's a lot of trauma in that, which may express itself in homophobic or transphobic ways. However, I think when it really comes down to it, he tries to do the right thing and be supportive. Not to mention there have been a few egg moments with Chandler before. Monica is an ally. Yes, she's a little bit confused about pronouns and terminology, but really when it comes down to it, she is supportive. I mean, when Chandler and Monica were getting married, she even said Chandler's father can wear whatever they want to the wedding so long as it's not a white wedding dress. Joey is a chaser, but a lot like Animal is a very lovable one. Rachel, she's a little too self-absorbed to be an ally. Phoebe, I can't see any way she is transphobic. Janice, she'd be absolutely shocked if you came out as trans to her. Gunter, he's so obsessed with Rachel, he doesn't even know trans people exist. Mike, he's a cool guy and I could see him being very cool to trans people. Richard, I could see him being an ally if you sat down and explained it to him. And finally, Ross, he's a predator to trans and cis women. Transphobe or ally, Bear in the Big Blue House Edition. Bear, there's no doubt in my mind that Bear is a trans ally. He's the kind of guy you want to come out to. He's so sweet and lovable. And didn't you see his Halloween costume? I mean, come on. Potter, he worries a lot about your transition, but is supportive of you. Ojo, she's a trans girl. And the reason I say that is, upon rewatching this show, I came to realize, wait, I think she was my first gender awakening. <laughs> Luna, she loves to talk to you about how your gender transition is going. Shadow is non-binary. Insert joke about non-binary names here. Pip and Pop are trans guys. Doc Hogg will write you a hormone prescription. And finally, Trilo. Trilo is non-binary. Transphobe or ally Napoleon Dynamite Edition. Napoleon is a trans man and he really wants a mustache. And I mean, this film is about masculinity and Napoleon feeling like he doesn't have it yet. Pedro is an ally. He wants to support you and he knows the value compassion can have on someone. Napoleon's father, he's supportive of his trans son. Rex, he's a trans man with a trans wife and he teaches self-defense to trans people. Summer is a trans folk. Deborah is a trans girl. Trisha is a trans girl. Rico, he's supportive of his trans nephew but not really supportive of trans people as a whole and he tries to give out those herbal supplements to people, which, by the way, trans people do not take herbal supplements as a substitute for proper medical HRT. Transphobe or ally, Monsters Inc. and Monsters University Edition. Spoilers. Sully is a trans ally. He's very empathetic. Mike is a trans ally, and he intellectualizes it. Boo. Now this may be a little controversial, but I think Boo is an egg trans guy. Every time you see him play in the film, he's playing his male characters. How else are you going to explain the scene when asked what his name is, he says, Mike Wazowski. Seriously, you would expect a kid at that age to know their name. So why would Boo give an alternative name? Not only that, a headcanon that later on, when he eventually figures out he's trans, he'll change his name to Sully. Water news. He's a transphobe despite knowing that trans people pose no danger. Randall. He's a transphobe because trans kids are a speciality. The Abominable Snowman. He's a transphobe, and if you rewatch the movie, he even uses a transphobic slur. Celia is a trans woman. Professor Knight. He's a transphobe because I've met his type before. Squishy is an ally, and he knows what it's like to not feel accepted. Don. He's an ally. He doesn't really get it, but he'll support you nonetheless. Johnny is a transphobe. The Dean is a transphobe. Terry with a Y is a transphobe, but Terry with an I is a trans man. Don't ask. Art is non-binary. And also there's an extended version of this video over on my Patreon where you can hear what I think of Frank and Claire. So make sure to go on there if you're curious. And finally, Roz. She won't tell you she's an ally, but she is. Transphobe or ally? The Incredibles edition. Spoilers. Mr. Incredible is a trans man. Elastigirl. 
is a trans woman. Violet, she gives me trans girl vibes. Dash, she gives me trans boy vibes. Frozone, he's an amazing ally. Syndrome is a trans boy. Mirage, she's a trans ally because she helps him escape. Gilbert, he's a transphobe and denies coverage to trans people. Tony Ragnager, I think he's an ally because he handled the whole Violet thing pretty well. Rick, he won't out you, but that's about all he'll do. Winston's an ally, he cares about the rights of marginalized people. Evelyn is a performative ally. Void is a non-binary trans woman. And by the way, there's an extended version of this video on my Patreon where you can hear about Kari and honey. And finally, Edna. She's an Aeroace autistic trans woman. Transphobe or ally Wally edition. Wally is trans. Eve is also trans, meaning they're T for T. Shelby, he's a rainbow capitalist. Captain McCrea, he's an ally and wants to do the right thing. And finally, Otto. He's an authoritarian transphobe. Transphobe or ally up edition. Carl, he's an ally because he understands the value of privacy. And even in the end, he comes to accept someone else. Russell is a trans boy. I think Ellie would have been a trans ally because she had a very adventurous and open-minded spirit. Charles is a transphobe. Doug is an ally because he's a good boy. Transphobe or ally Finding Nemo and Finding Dory edition. Spoilers. Marlin is an intersex trans woman because science. Nemo is intersex. Coral, she cares a lot about her children, so ally. Tad is obnoxious and a transphobe. However, all transphobes are obnoxious. And before you transphobes start commenting and stuff like that, I suggest you look up the word obnoxious. Gil is a trans guy. Bruce is an ally. Crush, he thinks trans people so totally rock. Darla is a transphobe. Mr. Ray, he's an ally and a scientist. Squirt, he's a trans boy. Bubbles, he's excited for you. Peach is non-binary. Pearl is a transphobe. Gurgle is nervous about your transition. Bloat is an ally. Deb and Flo are allies. Nigel, he's pretty nosy, but he is supportive. Jacques, he's a performative ally. Anchor and Cherm are allies. The School of Fish are allies. Hank is trans. Sheldon is trans. Because science. Destiny is an ally. Bailey is also an ally. Lori will forget your name and pronouns. Transphobe or ally? Cars edition. Spoilers. Lightning McQueen. He's not only a trans ally, but he's bisexual and a thruple with Mager and Sally. How else do you explain that scene in Cars 2 where he keeps saying, Mager, you're the Bob? Like, the chemistry between those two. Mater, he's bi and poly and a very good ally. Sally, as an unlicensed lawyer, she'll help you change your name. Doc is a reluctant ally. Chick Hicks. He's a transphobe with a podcast. Fillier, he's an ally and will offer his alternative fuel to trans cars. Sarge, if you're a serious person, he will support you. Flo is a trans woman. Ramon is a trans guy. Lizzie is an ally and has many stories for trans people. Strip, he's a good guy and an ally. Jackson Storm is a transphobe. Finn McMissile, if you try to come out to him, he won't be listening to you. And also the ending of Cars 2, it parodies transphobia, but not directly going after it. Honestly, there are lots of problems with that movie, but just wanted to point that out. Holly Shiftwell is trans. Francesco is a transphobe. Tex is a rainbow capitalist. Luigi and Guardo, they're both trans guys and a T for T couple. Transphobe or ally Toy Story edition. Spoilers. Woody. I'm so, so sorry, but... Woody is a transphobe. No! No, no! 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 Oh, no! He's incredibly judgmental throughout each of the films, and... I, I just can't see him being an ally. Buzz Lightyear, I'd say he's a trans ally. He's a gay ally in Lightyear, so he's probably a trans ally as well. Bo Peep is non-binary, but hasn't figured that out yet. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, they both since come out as non-binary. Slinky, he's a good boy and a good ally. Rex, he doesn't care so long as you hold him. Hamp, he makes jokes about transphobes. Sarge, he's very loyal whether you're cis or trans. Zerg, see Buzz Lightyear. RC is trans. Etch is non-binary. Lenny is a transphobe and out trans people. Bullseye is an ally and incredibly loyal. The Prospector, 
he would be an ally because he understands the idea of not being wanted. And that's something a lot of trans people can relate to. Barbie is trans. Ken is trans. The aliens, they're allies and eternally grateful. Gabby Gabby is trans. Lotso is an ally. He understands abandonment, which is something, unfortunately, a lot of trans people face. The same goes for Wheezy, Big Baby, and Chuckles. Prickle Pants is trans. Buttercup is trans. Duke Kaboom is trans. And by the way, if you sign up for my Patreon, you get to see an extended version of this video where I talk about the humans of Toy Story. Because, you know, a girl's gotta pay the bill somehow. And finally, Jessie. She'd be a gigantic ally because, well... She has a very similar story to a lot of trans people who have been abandoned. When she loved me just hits completely different in that context. And don't forget to join me tomorrow where I talk about the Amazing Digital Circus. See you then. Trans folk are ally the Amazing Digital Circus edition. Spoilers. Pomni is a trans woman. After all, if you believe the theories, she is a programmer. And there's that stereotype about trans women. I'm not even a programmer, and I even know three programming languages. Soupy is a transphobe. They think changing your name and pronouns is just too much of a hassle. Ragatha is an ally and a kind person. Jax is a transphobe and constantly misgenders the next person on this list. Gangle is non-binary. Kafumo. I will not be covering Kafumo in this video. Kinger is a trans man and a king. Bubble is indifferent. Moon is a chase finally Kane. He's a transphobic dictator. And join me tomorrow where I talk about iCarly. Transphobe or ally iCarly edition. Spoilers. Carly, she worries about your transition. Sam, she doesn't care. She's still very abusive. Freddy is an ally and he'll make a documentary about you. Gibbe is a trans boy. Guppy is a trans boy. Neville is a chaser. Griffin is an ally. He knows what it's like to be treated differently. Socko, if you come out to him, he'll make you trans-colored socks. Melissa, if she had a trans kid, she would be incredibly supportive of them. Luber, he doesn't care if your sis are trans. He just wants you to leave him alone. Carly and Spencer's granddad. He would be an ally. He seems like a very loving guy. Tebow, he's an ally and he'll try to make a trans pride smoothie but somehow it will end up on a stick. Principal Franklin, he'll help your transition go along. Miss Briggs is a trans -phobe. Mr. Howard is a trans -phobe. Jeremy, he knows how society can often hurt people, so he would be an ally. Rip off Rodney, he'd try to sell you discount pride flags. Nora, she's bisexual and a chaser. Chuck is a trans -phobe. Missy is a performative ally. Mandy, she's an autistic trans girl who faces a lot of ableism in this show. Wig Collins, he's a transphobe with a podcast. And by the way, I have an extended version of this video on my Patreon where I talk about characters in the iCarly reboot. A girl's gotta pay the bills somehow. And finally, Spencer, he's a crossdresser and an ally. Join me tomorrow where I talk about Victorious. Transphobe or ally, Victorious Edition. Everyone's a transphobe except for Robbie, who is a trans guy. Join me tomorrow where I talk about Shrek. Transphobe or ally, Shrek Edition. Spoilers, Shrek. He knows what it's like when the world makes judgments about you based on how you look. So therefore, Shrek is a trans ally. Donkey, he's a trans ally and will ramble on for hours and hours on why you should not be deadnaming someone. Fiona, she's a trans ally. Her parents locked her up in a castle, and she knows what it's like to be marginalized and to be treated as less than, so therefore ally. Poos in Boots, he's a trans guy who fights for other trans guys. Dragon is trans. Farquaad is transphobe and a chaser. Gingerbread Man is trans. Pinocchio is a trans boy because, say it with me now, he's a real boy. Charming is genderqueer. Fairy Godmother, she'll help trans people when she's on the clock, but after that she'll start using slurs. Arthur, he's a trans ally because he knows how bullying hurts people. The three little pigs are trans. The three blind mice, they don't see gender. King Harold, he's an ally. After all, he did change his appearance to be more accepted in society. Queen Lillian, Julia Andrews is an icon for a reason. Therefore, ally. Rumpelstiltskin, he'll exploit trans people. Doris is a canon trans woman. Mabel is also a trans woman. One of the things I love about Shrek is even though they're called the ugly stepsisters, 
They are not, in fact, ugly. It's a label put on them through society, but that doesn't make it true. Captain Hook, he's a transphobe and tries to stop trans boys from transitioning. Now, before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And if you haven't seen my video, what cis people can learn from Shrek 2, I highly recommend you check that out. I put a lot of work into it and I really think you will enjoy it. And finally, the big bag wolf. The big bag wolf is, of course, Tran. And join me tomorrow where I talk about Futurama. Transphobe or ally Futurama edition. Spoilers! Fry, he's a transphobe until he sees how happy you are when you transition. Then he will be your biggest ally. Leela and Amy, it hurts me to say this, but they're transphobes. I mean, just watch the transphobic episode of Futurama and you don't know what I mean. Professor Farnsworth, he's a trans inclusionary radical misogynist. Bender, he sees gender as some sort of game. Hermes, he'll only gender you correctly once you've submitted the change of pronouns form. Kith, of course Kith is a trans ally. Zap Brannigan is a chaser. Mom is a rainbow capitalist. Nibbler is trans, but no one seems to remember that. Scruffy is a trans man. Calculon is a performative ally. Emphasis on performative. Morbo and Linda, they report trans news. Cubert is a trans boy. Dwight is a trans boy. La Barbara is a chaser. Barbado Slim is a chaser. Amy's parents are transphobes. Leela's parents are huge allies and they're the kind of people you want to come out to. Lure from planet Omicron Percy I-8 will conquer you whether you are cis or trans. The Robot Mafia, much like the real Mafia, they don't care if you're trans or not. They just care, are you paying them or not? Wernstrom is trans. Roberto doesn't care if you're trans or not. The robot devil, even though transphobes deserve to go to robot hell, the robot devil does not want them there because, well, they make life a living hell for everyone. Robot Santa is an ally and punishes transphobes. Quanzabot is an ally. The hyper chicken lawyer is a transphobe and will prosecute trans people. Elzar is a rainbow capitalist. The cat lady doesn't know what being trans is. Heganism bot is 100% a trans ally. Hypno Toad says trans rights are human rights. Mayor Randall is a performative ally. The police officers, do I really need to say it? Transphobes. Flexo is an ally and an all-around good guy. Sal is too lazy to misgender you. Sally is trans. Frankly, I love her and it's not just because we share a name. The alien scammers are performative allies. Tiny Tim is a trans boy. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Zoidberg. He's a great ally. And after all, he was the only person Santa actually gave a toy to. And join me tomorrow where I discuss Five Nights at Freddy's. Transphobe or ally? Five Nights at Freddy's edition. Spoilers. Billy and Henry, they're bitter exes. Billy, I don't see being an ally, but Henry, yes. Clara is a rainbow capitalist. Fredbear is an ally. Bonnie is an ally. Foxy is an ally. Baby is trans. The nightmares are transphobes. The elephant musician is an ally. Dr. Hippo is an ally. Chica is an ally. Pigpatch is trans. Happy Frog is an ally. Brian Child is an ally. He knows what it's like to be in an uncomfortable situation. Michael starts out as a transphobe but becomes better in the end. The security puppet is an ally. Elizabeth is trans. Cassidy is trans. Edwin is a rainbow capitalist. Charlie is trans. Gregory is trans. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And don't be like these commenters here because you realize commenting still tells the algorithm to show you more trans stuff. And finally, Vanessa. Vanessa is trans. And join me tomorrow where I talk about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Transphobe or ally Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs edition. Snow White is a teenage trans girl. All the dwarves are trans guys. Queen is an icon and an ally. And finally, the prince. Putting all the creepiness aside of his character, he is genderqueer. I mean, he's rocking the hell out of that lipstick. And join me tomorrow where I talk about SpongeBob SquarePants. Transphobe or ally SpongeBob SquarePants edition. SpongeBob. As Steven Hillenburg said in 
2002, SpongeBob is asexual, and since then, he's become an asexual icon. Not to mention that throughout the show, SpongeBob often blurs gender lines, and I think SpongeBob is actually gender fluid. Patrick is a trans ally. The whole Patricia thing really taught him to understand gender. Mr. Krabs is a rainbow capitalist. Plankton, he's too obsessed to try to find the Crab Pie secret formula that he has no opinion on trans people. Karen, as the voice of reason throughout this show, she is a trans ally. Sandy, she's trans and makes her own hormones. Pearl is a performative ally. Mrs. Puff is a stealth trans woman. I mean, she had to change her name and leave town several times before, so yeah. King Neptune, he's a trans man and he punishes transphobes. Mindy is a trans woman. Flying Dutchman, he scares transphobes. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And don't forget to join my Patreon where you can see an extended version of this video where I talk about Patchy, Potty, Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy. And finally, Squidward and Squilliam. They're ex-lovers who are also artists, so they're definitely allies. Also, tomorrow I will not be doing a new transphober ally out of respect for Trans Day of Remembrance. Transphober ally, always sunny in Philadelphia edition. Everyone's a transphobe except for D, who is a surrogate for a trans woman. Join me tomorrow where I talk about the Little Mermaid. Transphobe or ally, the Little Mermaid edition. Ariel, she's an ally and knows what it's like to want more out of life. Triton, he starts out as a transphobe but loosens up. Eric. He's a chaser to all women, and my guy point out, he can't even tell the difference in hair color. Sebastian is a transphobe. I mean, under the seas, basically, stay complicit and don't do anything you like. Flounder is an ally and will support you. Scuttle is an ally and won't realize you've even transitioned. Chef Louis is an ally and will make you a celebratory dinner when you come out. Max, he's a good boy and an ally. The priest, he can't see gender or anything for that matter. Finally, Ursula, she was based on a drag queen, and only that, she'd sell you HRT for a pretty hefty price. But honestly, even in that case, what's the difference between Ursula and a pharmaceutical company? And join me tomorrow where I talk about peanuts. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate it. Transphobe or ally peanuts edition. Charlie Brown, she's an egg. That's why she's so depressed all the time. Snoopy and Woodstock are a T for T couple. Lucy is non-binary. Sally is trans, and that's not just because I'm trans. Linus is trans. Marcy is trans. Pigpen is trans. He likes rolling around in the dirt, and he has dysphoria around bathing. Like me. Schroeder is autistic and trans. Franklin is gay and a trans ally. The little redhead girl is a trans girl. Peppermint Patty. She's a lesbian icon and going through a compulsory heterosexual phase. Join me tomorrow where I talk about Wreck-It Ralph. Transphobe or ally Wreck-It Ralph edition. Ralph, he's an ally. He knows what it's like to be villainized by society and put in a role he doesn't want to be in. Vanellope is trans, but I also want to point out here, Sarah Silverman supports Autism Speaks, a genocidal group against autistic people. So... Her. Calhoun, she'll be the most affirming ally there is. King Candy is a performative ally. Tafita is a transphobe. Jean is a transphobe. Fix it, Felix. He's an ally if you explain to him what being trans is. And join me tomorrow where I talk about Super Mario Brothers. Transphobe or ally? Mario Brothers edition. Mario is trans. Luigi is trans. Wario is a transphobe. Waluigi is a transphobe. Yoshi is non-binary. Hogue is non-binary. Rosalina is trans. Princess Daisy is trans. Donkey Kong is trans. Toadette is trans. Diggy Kong is trans. Big Boo is a transphobe. Bullet Bill is a transphobe. Princess Peach is trans and is often dead named. Birdo is trans. Bowser is a transphobe. And yes, Jack Black supports Autism Speaks, so f*** him. Join me tomorrow where I talk about the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Transphobe or ally? Star Wars sequels edition. Spoilers. Rey is an ally. She spent a long time struggling to find herself. Kylo, he's a trans man, and he takes too much tea despite the medical advice. Phasma is an ally. She tries to make sure her subservience transition goes smoothly. Hux is a transphobe, but he'll follow the rules if you tell him not to misgender someone. Maz is an ally. Snoke is a transphobe. BB-8 is an ally and will give you a thumbs up when you come out. Bo is gay and an ally. Finn, he's definitely an ally because he goes well beyond the role assigned to him. And join me tomorrow where I talk about terms. Transphobe or ally? Terms edition. So as part of doing this series, I've gotten a lot of questions and I want to take this time to answer some of them. First off, let's establish it up front. 
this series is about head cannons with jokes mixed in. If you take this seriously, calm down. Also, every character I do in this series is fictional, so I'm not going to be doing real people in this series. Other questions I commonly get are, what's a chaser? A chaser is someone who seeks out and fetishizes trans people. Formative ally is someone who pretends to be an ally for some ulterior motive. A rainbow capitalist is a type of performative ally who pretends to be an ally for money. Also, I'm working on a corrections video, so if you've seen my videos before and have some suggestions you want me to bring up in a later video, let me know down in the comments. And join me tomorrow where I talk about Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Transphobe or ally, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Spoilers. Willy Wonka is a rainbow capitalist. The Candyman is a reverse socialist and a transphobe. Charlie is a trans boy. Charlie's mom. She's an ally and will sing a very gender affirming song to you when you're feeling dysphoric. And she'll say, just be glad you're you. Slugworth is a rainbow capitalist. Charlie's teacher is a transphobe and punishes Charlie for being trans. Veruca Salt is a turf who thinks you're stealing her gender. Henrietta and Henry are enablers of their turf child. Violet Beauregard is an autistic girl just living her life and stimming away. Sam Beauregard is a politician. Transphobe. Mike TV is a young boy growing up in a conservative household. And especially in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, yeah, it gets worse. He would be a transphobe for now. The Oompa Loompas are allies, and I am in full solidarity and support of their strike. Solidarity forever. Augustus Gloop, he's an ally. He knows what prejudice is like. And this is bothering me for a long time. Augustus Gloop gets disqualified because he has an eating disorder, which I also have an eating disorder. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, they literally established that this chocolate is so addictive that people will do crazy stuff to get a lifetime supply of it. Like a woman not wanting to give over a box of chocolate bars to see her husband again. And in the reboot, he's literally eating so many chocolate bars, he almost eats the golden ticket. Augustus Gloop deserved better. Ally. George, Georgia, and Josephine are all allies to their trans grandson. Also, isn't it a little weird that all the married couples in these films have the same name, essentially? Charlie's father is supportive to his trans son. Now, before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Grandpa Joe. He's a trans. Join me tomorrow where I'm talking about Star Trek Deep Space Nine again. Transphobe or Ally Deep Space Nine Edition Part 2. Spoilers! Skerrick, he's a bi icon and a trans ally. Ishka, Quark's mom, she's a feminist icon and a trans ally. Dukat is a transphobe. Bariel, he's a pretty liberal character, so ally. Brunt, he's a transphobe and will bill you if you're trans. The Grand Negus, he starts out as a rainbow capitalist, but actually becomes a legitimate ally in the end. When she's probably the most transphobic character. Join me tomorrow where I talk about The Good Place. Transphobe or ally, The Good Place edition. Spoilers. Before we begin, I just want to say here, Transphobes, you're going to the bad place. Chidi is an ally, and he's the kind who will have a mental breakdown if he accidentally misgenders you. Tahani, she starts out as a performative ally, but eventually becomes a true ally. Jason, he has no clue what being trans is, but he'll support you nonetheless. Eleanor, she's bisexual, but really she starts out as a transphobe, but becomes better in the end. Pillboy is a trans man. Janet is a non-binary icon. Vicky is a performative ally. Doug is a performative ally. Trevor is the worst. He is a transphobe. Derek, he's Derek. Judge Jen is an ally and will punish transphobes. Mindy, she doesn't care. Simone, she's liberal and an ally. Neil, he's judgmental of people's private sex lives. Transphobe. John is queer and an ally. Brent is a transphobe. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Michael. He starts out as a performative ally, but becomes better in the end. And join me tomorrow where I talk about Elf. Transphobe or ally, Elf edition. Spoilers. Buddy is a transphobe. I'm just messing with all of you. Can you imagine a world where Buggy is actually a transphobe? I mean, come on, he'd be one of the biggest allies there is. Jovi is a trans woman. Papa Elf is a trans man. Santa is an ally and puts transphobes on the naughty list. 
where they belong. Dr. Happy, he'll prescribe hormones for you. Walter, he starts out as a transphobe but becomes an ally in the end. Greenway is a rainbow capitalist. The manager of Gimbals is also a rainbow capitalist. Leon is non-binary. Fum Fum is a performative ally. Emily is an ally and will help you transition. Michael is a trans boy. Deb is a huge ally. Carolyn is an ally. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Miles Finch. He'll start a fist fight with anyone who uses a T-slur. And join me tomorrow where I talk about Better Call Saul. Transphobe or ally, Better Call Saul edition. Spoilers. Saul is an ally and will fight for you. Kim is a trans woman. She was very on board with Saul's name change. However, I really hope she moved out of Florida. Chuck, he would defend you in court as a principle of law. Lalo is a chaser. Gus, he's gay in the way Dumbledore is gay. Mike, he would support his family if they came out. Nacho is a trans man. The Kettlemans are turfs. Hector is a transphobe. I could see him ringing his bell constantly when he's around trans people. Huel is a big ally. Bill Oakley, he's gay and will defend you. Ziegler, he'll out you. Aaron, she's trans and asexual. Gail, he is a trans man and he makes hormones. Kevin, hardcore Republican vibes, transphobe. Rich, he has no opinion on trans people. Daniel, is a trans man early in his transition. Marion, she'd support you, but she'd ask you very insensitive questions. Jeff is a trans man. Clifford is indifferent. Everett Acker is a transphobe. Ernesto is an ally, and if someone misgenders a trans person, he'll try to correct them, assuming they've made a mistake when, in fact, they were being deliberately rude. Lyle, he'll make sure everyone wears pronoun pins. Irene, she doesn't get it, but she's trying her best. Lydia, I suspect she's gay. And that's my headcanon. The AV crew, they're all trans. Francesca, she'll support you when she's on the clock. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. Emily Howard, Howard thinks he's an ally but will constantly forget your name and pronouns. Join me tomorrow for the start of Simpsons Week. Transphobe or ally, Simpsons Family Edition. Spoilers! Bart's so busy pranking everyone, he hasn't thought about trans people, but if you actually sat down and explained to him, he'd be like, yeah, whatever. Lisa, she's a bicon and too smart to be a transphobe. Maggie's non-binary and I see them growing up to be a David Bowie style pop star. Abe's an egg. Mona, she supports her family even if they're trans, but will eventually leave them. Selma's a chaser, she's dated every trans man in Springfield and they've all turned away from her. Patty, she's gay but a transphobe, I mean watch that transphobic episode. Marge, there are times where she's transphobic, like at Patty's wedding and she says that Patty's fiance has an Adam's apple, meaning that she can't possibly be a woman, but everyone has an Adam's apple. Homer, he's a reflection of the average American in society. And the question is, is the average American a transphobe or ally? Simpsons edition, part two. Entertainers of Springfield. Spoilers. Troy McClure, you might remember him from such documentaries as Sticks and Stonewall and Aces and Their Places. He's an ally. Krusty, he's definitely made some transphobic jokes, and he's struggling to find material that isn't transphobic. Sideshow Bob, he's a member of the Republican Party. Transphobe. Sideshow Mel is a drag queen and an ally. Kent Brockman, he'll do a 20 minute segment on you and you're coming out even when the president's been arrested. Bill and Marty, they've said some transphobic things on the radio. Bumblebee guy. He'll do one of those awkward coming out specials, and he doesn't get it, but the, he's spirits there. Dredrick Tatum is an egg. Mr. Teeny has done drag as a bit, therefore transphobe. Rainier Wolfcastle is an ally. If 2023 tells us anything, it's that former Republican governors and movie stars can be trans allies. Roger Myers Jr. is a rainbow capitalist. And if he thought it was profitable, he'd have a coming out special for Itchy and Scratchy. Lorraine will sing a song about you when you come out. Lucius Sweet is a rainbow capitalist. Duff Man doesn't do pride events because Duff is homophobic. Oh no. Hans Mole Man, he's looking for someone gay for Mole Man. Arnie Pie, he's gay and a top. 
the sky. Lance Murdoch is a trans man and an inspiration to many trans men out there. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Bleeding Gums Murphy. He's an ally to anyone who knows the blues. Transphobe or Ally Simpsons Edition Part 3. Spoilers. Apu is a rainbow capitalist. Mo is a chaser and a rainbow capitalist. He's a chaser because he gives off those vibes, and he's a rainbow capitalist because in one episode, he dropped the E and opened Moe's, which was a gay bar, but for the money. Comic book guy is a transphobe and will say trans people ruined his favorite show. Herman, he sells weapons to trans people and transphobes. Cookie Kwan, she'll try to sell you on home in what she calls the Rainbow District. The sea captain is a homophobe. In one episode, he literally tries to conversion therapy his semen into no longer being gay. Gil will do anything for for a sale. He is a rainbow capitalist. Hank Scorpio. Now you might think he's a rainbow capitalist, but I think he's a legitimate ally. He's just evil for other reasons. Marvin Monroe is a trans man who just started HRT. Luigi is a rainbow capitalist. Dr. Hibbert. He'll perform surgery and prescribe you hormones for a hefty price. And finally, Dr. Nick. Dr. Nick will not only give you hormones, but perform gender affirmation surgeries in June for $39.95, a real bargain. Join me tomorrow where I talk about the characters from Springfield Elementary. Transphobe or Ally Simpsons Edition, Part 4, Springfield Elementary. Spoilers. Edna Krabappel. She's apathetic at times, but she really does care about her students, so I would say ally. Skinner. He tries to be an ally, but he doesn't really understand gender or gender issues. Chalmers. He's a huge ally to someone we'll talk about later in this series. Miss Hoover. She's very apathetic. I don't see her putting in the effort to process your name change, so transphobe. Otto is a stealth trans man. Doris is a stealth trans woman. Lugash is gay and an ally. Prior out students, he suspects of being queer to other kids' parents. He's gonna be a transphobe. Pema Worth is a canon trans man. Miss Peyton is kind and an ally. Mr. Bergstrom is the best ally. Largo is gay and an ally. The Doug is an egg. It was her idea to dress like ladies. Jamie is trans. Nelson is the kind of guy who will ask your pronouns and he'll gender you correctly while he's bullying you. Ralph, he doesn't understand what being trans is. He's a viking. Marsha Princess is a canon trans woman. Kearney is trans. Database is trans. Sherry and Terry are transphobes. Dolph is trans. Lewis and Richard are trans. Uger is an ally. He knows what it's like to be alienized and marginalized. Jimbo Jones, he's a trans boy who just started T. And finally, Willie. Willie is often mistaken for a woman throughout this series and is gender nonconformed by stereotypical American standards, but he would be an ally and would stick up for you. Transphobe or Ally Simpsons Edition Part 5. Ned Flanders, don't be fooled by his image. He is a transphobe and a homophobe. In one episode, he literally said he was running a marathon to find the cure for homosexuality. By extension, Ma would be a transphobe. She literally went to Bible camp to be more judgmental. Rog and Todd are either gay or they're eggs. It's not really made clear in the show. I mean, they've said that Mrs. Simpson made them gay in one episode, and then in another episode, they say that they're jealous of girls because they get to wear dresses. I mean, the latter is a pretty egg statement. I said that all the time before I cracked my egg. And no, that's not a joke either. That was a real thing I did. The Lovejoys, the Reverend, Helen and Jessica, they're actually trans allies. They talk about how in one episode they support their trans relative Stan Lorena. Rabbi Kristofsky starts out as a transphobe but becomes more accepting in the end. Mr. Burns is a Republican and a transphobe. Smithers is gay and a trans ally. In one episode, he literally buys estrogen for one of his friends at a yard sale. Lenny and Carl are a gay couple and they're trans allies. Transphobe or Ally Simpsons Edition Part 6. Spoilers. Police Chief Wiggum, Eddie and Lou are all cops, transphobes. Mayor Quimby is a corrupt politician, transphobe. Pat Tony, Johnny Tight Lips, Frankie the Squealer, and Legs and Louie are part of the mafia. So they're neither transphobes or trans allies because really all they care about is are you paying them on time? Judge Snyder could go either way. Mary Bailey is a performative ally. Judge Harm is a trans woman. Lionel Hutz will defend you in court. 
Transphobe or Ally Simpsons Edition Part 7. Spoilers. Kirk Van Houten, he's a hard character to place down, but I think he'd be an ally. I mean, you're happier than he is. He'd try to be supportive, if not jealous of you. Luann Van Houten, I'd have to say she's probably a turf. Manjula, I think Manjula would be an ally. I mean, with octuplets, at least one of them's bound to be queer. And also, she could get any help she can get on that. Shauna is trans. Agnes Skinner is a transphobe. Now, by the end of this video, I will have covered a hundred characters of The Simpsons this week. But I will miss a few. There are characters that I have missed in this series, like Professor Frink, Artie Ziff, and Cletus and Brandine. But you can watch my video on that on my Patreon. That's right, it's a Patreon exclusive. Transphobe or ally now up on my Patreon. And finally, character 100, Barney Gumble. Barney Gumble is an amazing ally. Barney literally says that so be it if Homer wants to be a woman. That is an ally. Transphobe or ally Frosty the Snowman edition. Spoilers. Frosty the Snowman is non-binary and intersex. And also, he's unalive by the very thing unaliving all of us right now climate change. Professor Hickle is a transphobe. Karen is a trans girl. Much like her, I would wear a dress like that in the middle of freezing cold because, well, look at how cute that dress is. The rest of the kids are trans. Hocus Pocus is an ally. The cop is a transphobe. The conductor is a rainbow capitalist. Santa is an ally, but he really needs to learn what real numbers are. Join me tomorrow where I talk about Krampus. Transphobe or ally Krampus edition. Spoilers. Max is a trans boy. His parents and grandmother are supportive, but the rest of the family not so much. And when you think about it in this context, the whole nickname he has, yeah, that's pretty transphobic. Join me tomorrow where I talk about Jingle All The Way. Transphobe or ally Jingle All The Way edition. Spoilers. Howard tries to do the right thing, but he'll inevitably mess up in the end. And yes, I know I'm doing this before Terminator, and if you want to make a request in this series, please sign up for my Patreon. Myron is a performative ally. How do we even know this guy has a son? The Santas are rainbow capitalists. Jamie is a non-binary egg. The cop is a transphobe. Liz is a good ally. Ted is a chaser. Join me tomorrow where I talk about All In The Family. Transphobe or ally All In The Family edition. Everyone is actually a surprisingly good ally. Except for Archie Bunker, who's tolerable of trans people at best. Join me tomorrow where I talk about the Polar Express. Transphobe or ally, Polar Express edition. Hero Boy is trans. The whole story of Polar Express is basically a non-toxic masculinity fantasy. Hero Girl is trans. The Conductor is an ally. The know all is autistic and an ally. Billy is non-binary. Smokey and Steamer are allies. The homeless person is a mentor to trans boys. Join me tomorrow where I talk about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Transphobe or ally Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer edition. Sam, he'll explain what being trans is to the audience. Mr. and Mrs. Claus are rainbow capitalists. Rudolph is trans, and no, I'm not just talking about an allegory here. Rudolph's parents are transphobes. They make their trans son hide. Herbie, he wants to be a dentist, and is also trans. The elf boss, he's a raging transphobe like Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro. Clarice is an ally and one of the few decent characters in this film. The abominable snowman is a misunderstood character and an ally. Yukon is a trans man. Plus, I got a video on my YouTube channel where I talk about Rudolph the Red Nose the Reindeer and trans allegories surrounding it in more detail. So head on over there if you'd like to see that. And if you want to make a request for this series, please head over to my Patreon. And finally, the Misfit Toys. They're all trans. Join me tomorrow where I talk about How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Transphobe or ally, How the Grinch Stole Christmas Edition. Spoilers. The Grinch. He was raised by a lesbian couple, so ally. Cindy Lou's parents are allies. Martha is a chaser. Max is a good boy and an ally. The mayor is a transphobe. Cindy Lou is trans. Join me tomorrow where I talk about the Dark Crystal. Transphobe or ally Dark Crystal edition. Spoilers. Jen is a trans guy. I refuse to believe that wings are a sex-based characteristic. Ursu, who is a mentor to Jen, is an ally. Skekso is a transphobe. Skeksil is a transphobe. Skekung is a transphobe. Agra is a drag queen and an ally. Fizzwig is non-binary. Finally, Kira. Kira is a trans girl. Join me tomorrow where I talk about 
The Muppets Christmas Carol. Transphobe or ally, The Muppets Christmas Carol edition. Spoilers. Bob Cratchit is an ally. Rizzo is an ally. I'm not doing Charles Dickens because I don't want to open up the can of worms of doing real people, even historical. Mr. Applegate is an ally. Fred is bisexual and an ally. The Order of Victoria High Charity Foundation sends a gay couple. The Marleys are a gay couple who got married. And before you start arguing that same gender marriage wasn't legal back then, might I remind you, this film is full of Muppet. The spirit of Christmas past is trans, femme, and non-binary. The Heckmaster is a rainbow capital. Fozziewig is a big ally. Belle is trans. The spirit of Christmas present is a big ally. Tiny Tim is trans. Belinda and Tina are trans. Peter is trans. The ghost of Christmas yet to come is an ally. Ebenezer Scrooge starts out tolerant of trans people at first, but eventually becomes a true ally after being visited by three ghosts. And to be honest, I wish transphobes we get to see three ghosts that confront them about their transphobia. Transphobe or ally Home Alone edition. Spoilers for the entire Home Alone series. Harry is indifferent. He only cares about robbing you. Marv is a chaser. Fuller is a transphobe. Buzz is a transphobe. The McAllister parents, they would try to be good allies if their kids came out, but they will inevitably fail. Gus is a good guy and an ally. Old Man Marley becomes an ally in the end. Uncle Frank is a huge transphobe. Could you imagine what this guy's Twitter would look like? Aunt Leslie is a turf. Linny is a turf. Heather is a transphobe. Brooke is a transphobe. Sandra is a transphobe. Rod is a closeted trans girl. Jeff is a transphobe. The pizza guy is trans. Johnny is a mobster. He only cares if you pay him or not. Snakes doesn't know what being trans is. The pigeon lady is trans. Mr. Hector is a rainbow capitalist. Cedric is an ally and probably the only ally Rob Schneider has ever played. Mr. Duncan is an ally. Alex is a non-binary egg. Molly is trans. Alice Robbins is an ally. Mrs. Hess is a transphobe. Earl Unger is an ally. Peter is an ally. Burton is an ally. Karen is an ally. Jack is an ally. Stan is an ally. The cops are transphobes. Alright, Home Alone 4. One of the worst f***ing movies I've ever seen in my life. As far as I'm concerned, these are not the same McAllister from the first two movies. This is a completely different family. It just happens to be named McAllister. And there's a kid there named Kevin who has this relationship with a criminal named Marv but there's no relation to the other McAllisters. Got that? Okay. Kevin is a transphobe. Marv is a chaser. Buzz and Natalie are transphobes. In this film, Kate's a better mother, so ally. Peter is somehow worse in this film. Transphobe. Vera is trans. She and Marv met in prison, and prisons are typically segregated based on sex. So I think she's trans. Molly is an ally and supportive of her daughter. Prescott is an ally. The prince is an elitist transphobe. Finn Baxter, he's the kind of kid who will say slurs during a video game session. Alexis is closeted non-binary. Jessica is a transphobe. Curtis is a transphobe. Catherine is a transphobe and would probably blame the existence of trans people on TikTok. Mr. Carson is a chaser. Sinclair is a transphobe. Hughes is a transphobe. Pam is an ally. Jeff is an ally. Gavin is a rainbow capitalist. Max Mercer is a transphobe and he thinks transitioning is just some sort of game trans people play. And finally, Kevin. Kevin is arrow ace and an ally. Transphobe or ally, grandma got ran over by a reindeer edition. Spoilers. Jake is trans. Mr. and Mrs. Claus are allies. The cop is a transphobe. Cousin Mel is a transphobe. The rest of the family are allies. Transphobe or ally, gremlins edition. Spoilers. Billy is an ally. Kate is an ally. Randall is an ally. Mr. Wing is an ally. Mr. Wing's grandson is an ally. Ruby is a transphobe. Pizza trans boy. Lynn's an ally. Roy is an ally. The cops are transphobes and they're the kind of cops who think it's okay to drive while under the influence, which by the way is dangerous. Do not do that. And all the gremlins, including Gizmo, are non-binary. Transphobe or ally, Gremlins 2 edition. Spoilers. Daniel is a rainbow capitalist. Marla is a rainbow capitalist. Marge is a transphobe. Dracula is an ally. Dr. Catheter 
is an ally. And just like last time, the gremlins are non-binary. Happy Festivus Day, everyone. Transphobe or ally, Seinfeld edition. Spoilers. Jerry, I'm not going to be talking about Jerry because I have a rule in this series about not doing real people. And I don't want to open up the can of worms of doing fictional portrayals of real people. So... I'm not going to talk about Jerry. George has some chaser qualities, but he'd also be very jealous of trans people and their happiness. And he'd also say, not that there's anything wrong with being trans. Elaine thinks there's nothing wrong with being trans. Kramer thinks there's nothing wrong with being trans, and he's also a bit of a chaser. Susan is bi and an ally. Peterman is a rainbow capitalist. Frank Costanza is an ally and will invite you over to Festivus Day, where you can have a full-on rant about transphobes. And if you want to see my Festivus Day rant, please sign up for my Patreon because it's wildly uncensored. Estelle's an ally. Tim Watley is an ally and would try to give you hormones, but I wouldn't recommend getting some from him. Jackie Childs will defend you in court. Newman is the kind of guy where if you tell him you're trans, he'll stop delivering mail to you in your dead name, even if they're bills. Primarily out of laziness on his part. Transphobe or ally Die Hard Edition. Spoilers. John McClane is a cop, but he's a movie cop, so ally. Holly is an ally. Al's a transphobe. He's the kind of cop who did that thing to the kid, which I can't talk about here. Carl's an ally. Theo's a transphobe. Johnson and Johnson are transphobes, and they eventually quit their job in the FBI to work in the pharmaceutical industry. Hans is an ally. Transphobe or ally? Year without Santa Claus edition. Spoilers. Santa's an ally. Santa's spouse is an egg. I mean, when he looks in the mirror, he talks about no one would notice and how he wants a beard. The doctor is an ally. The cop is a transphobe. Ignatius is trans. The mayor is a transphobe. The elves are allies. The snow miser is gay and an ally. Heat miser is a flaming gay and an ally. Mother nature is an ally to her two gay sons. But then again, she also gave the North pull over to the heat miser and we're still paying the consequences for that today. Transphobe or ally Christmas vacation edition. Spoilers. Clark, he'd say something like, women are trans women. He's a little bit confused, but he gets the spirit. Also, he's a bit of a chaser. Ellen is an ally. Rusty is an ally. Audrey's an ally. The neighbors are transphobes. Phil is a rainbow capitalist. Mr. Shirley's a rainbow capitalist. Mary is a trans woman. Aunt Bethany can be a little bit confused. And, well, let's just say there's no reason to come out to her because she doesn't remember you before you came out. Uncle Lewis is also a bit confused, but you don't have to explain coming out to him because he doesn't remember before. Ruby Sue and Rocky, they're pretty kind-hearted, so I'd say ally. Eggie and Catherine are transphobes and big Trump supporters. Transphobe or ally, episode 100! <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me get to this milestone. To mark this occasion, I want to do trivia. I have five questions for you, and I want you to leave your answers down in the comments, and I'll reveal the answers tomorrow. Question number one, what is the longest episode of Transphobe or Ally? Question two, what is the shortest episode of Transphobe or Ally? Question three, which character said they were a trans ally in their own words? Question four, who is the first character I said was trans? Question five, which single character did I spend the most time talking about? Transphobe or ally trivia answer reveal. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, please watch that and I'm going to be revealing the answers today. The longest episode of Transphobe or ally, Home Alone. The shortest episode, Victorious. The character that called himself an ally in their own words, Chucky. The first character I called trans, Wesley Crusher. And the longest segment I spent on a single character, Hank Hill. Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. Transphobe or ally, a Christmas story. Ralphie, he's a trans boy. He has a very masculine trans boy energy. Plus, he's also gifted that bunny suit by his aunt. And because she thinks he's a girl, his aunt is definitely a transphobe. The kid with the goggles is gay and has a crush on the Tin Man, but honestly, who blames him? Santa and the elves are transphobes. Ralphie's parents are pretty supportive of their son, except when it comes to Christmas Day when they force him to wear that pink bunny suit he doesn't want to wear. Also, as a trans woman, I found it pretty funny because I fantasized about that very thing happening to me, being gifted girls' clothes, even though that wouldn't have made sense. But whatever. Transphobe or ally, it's a wonderful life edition. Everyone's an ally except for Potter, who is not a rainbow capitalist, but in fact, just an asshole. Hi trans people, transphobe or ally, 
Barbie movie edition. Spoilers! Barbie is trans. Barbie is an ally. Barbie is an ally. Barbie is trans. Barbie is an ally. Barbie is an ally. Barbie is trans. Barbie is an ally. Barbie is an ally. Ken is an ally. Ken is an ally. Ken is an ally. Alan is an ally. Ken is an ally. Midge is an ally. Sasha is trans. Gloria is an ally to her daughter. Skipper just started estrogen. Ken is gay. Ken is gay. Finally, Ken. Ken is trans. I mean, there's a reason the whole, like, discovering manhood scene went viral on trans TikTok. And to all the trans people out there, you are enough. Trans folk or ally in glorious bastards edition. I don't want to open up the can of worms to including historical figures in here, but also Hitler. That being said, the Nazis are transphobes. This is just basic history. And I'm going to say all the other people who are fighting the Nazis are allies. Transphobe or ally Winnie the Pooh edition. Not including Christopher Robin because he's a real person and I don't do real people, so I'm not including him. That being said, Everyone's a trans ally. Transphobe or ally South Park edition. Spoilers. Everyone's a transphobe except for Kyle's mother who legitimately tries to do the right thing. And yes, I know there are other queer characters on this show, but they're still transphobes. Also, if you want to see my reaction to South Park, please follow the suggested link on screen. Transphobe or ally Scott Pilgrim vs. The World edition. Spoilers. Scott Pilgrim is a creep and a chaser. Stacy is liberal and an ally. Knives is an ally. Wallace is queer and an ally. Other Scott is queer and an ally. Ramona is a transphobe because of that joke she makes to Gideon at the end of the movie. Matthew Patel is a chaser. Lucas Lee is a transphobe. Julie is an ally and will tell you who's transphobic so you can avoid them. Todd is a transphobe. Roxy is queer and an ally. The Katianas twins are trans. Steven is a big ally. Neil is a big ally. Kim is trans. Envy Adams is a transphobe. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Gideon. Gideon is a transphobe. Happy New Year, everyone. In honor of Mickey Mouse entering the public domain, let's do transphobe or ally. Mickey and Friends Edition. Mickey Mouse, if we're talking about older Mickey, definitely a transphobe. Newer Mickey, rainbow capitalist. Minnie is a rainbow capitalist. Plugo is an ally. Goofy's trans. Donald Duck fought Nazis. He's an ally. Daisy, by extension, is also an ally. Transphobe or ally, My Little Pony Edition. I just want to say this up front. Everyone in this show would accept you open hooves if you came out. But here are a few other things I want to point out. Twilight Sparkle, she's not only the colors of the bisexual pride flag, but she's also trans. She has horn dysphoria, which is why Spike composes all of her notes. Rainbow Dash, makeup of six colors. And where have I seen those colors before? Hmm. Applejack has a bit of an ego, but she's also a lesbian icon. Rarity is a trans drag queen. Pinkie Pie won't remember your dead name, which is great. Fluttershy, she's a trans girl who hasn't started estrogen yet. She's a trans girl with the pre-voice training voice, if you know what I mean. Spike is an egg. That's primarily because they were so, so close to having all female characters. And if you don't see how that's a big deal, just look at the Hobbit. Princess Celestia, she pretty much pawned off Twilight Sparkle, so she can learn how to make friends in the hope of just, you know, creating reality TV for herself. Transphobe or ally Sesame Street Edition. Big Bird, he doesn't really understand what being trans is, but he'll be an ally. Cookie Monster, if you came out to him, he'd make you trans cookies, but he'll eat them. Bert and Ernie, I don't care what Sesame Workshop says. They are a gay couple, and they are allies. Rover is non-binary. Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, he's grouchy, but he's still an ally. The Count, if you came out to him every day, he'd be like, three days out of the closet. Ah, ah, ah. Abby is trans. Mr. Snuffleupagus, he's an ally. After all, he knows what it's like to be invisible. Rosita is an ally. Julia is an ally. But my guy point out here, Autism Speaks should have no part in Sesame Workshop. Get out. Mr. Hooper is an ally. Baby Bear is an ally. Prairie Dawn's an ally. Mr. Noodle is an ally. Guy Smiley is an ally and will port your coming out. Gina is an ally. Maria is an ally. Mr. Hanford is an ally. Olivia is an ally. Oh, you might think he'd be a transphobe because of Rocco, but no. Trans people are real, Rocco is not. Transphobe or ally Prince Caspian edition. Spoilers. Caspian, I think he'd be an ally. After all, he did accept Dr. Cornelius. King Mirez is a transphobe. 
He's basically Ron DeSantis. Queen Putaprezia is a transphobe. Dr. Cornelius is a stealth dwarf and a trans guy. Brimstone is gay and an ally. Cruffle Hunter is an ally and an advocate for queer rights. Nickbrick is an ally. Trumpkin is gay and an ally. Reaper Chief is an ally. Transphobe or ally Despicable Me edition. Spoilers for Despicable 1 through 3. Thank you Teal Rumi for making this request over on Patreon. Who's an ally? Villains are often misunderstood and he can understand how trans people feel. Not to mention in the second film he literally dressed up like a fairy princess for his daughter so like he's very secure in his masculinity so definitely an ally. Gru's mother is a trans folk. Vector is Arrow Ace and an ally. Mr. Perkins is a rainbow capitalist. Dr. Nefario will make you hormones but will get mixed up. So like if you're a trans woman he'll try to make you testosterone. If you're a trans guy he'll try to make you estrogen. But he's not doing it on purpose. The American family at the start of the first movie are transphobes. Miss Hattie is a transphobe. Agnes is trans. Miss Haggy only let her transition because she held her breath. Margo is a demigirl. Edith is a trans girl. Miss Haggy let her transition because, well, she's a little scared of her. Jillian, I'm torn a little bit on Jillian. On one hand, she accepts she grew wearing a dress, but on the other hand, there's this assumption that grew is a heterosexual. Lucy is trans and can spot eggs. Rams Bottom is an ally. He knew you were trans before you came out. Avery is cis scum. Eduardo is a rainbow capitalist. Floyd's a transphobe. Shannon's a transphobe and calls trans people phonies. Brett is a transphobe. Minsour Pompey is pretty much Donald Trump, so transphobe. Wait, that was Brett? Oh, never mind then. Drew is an ally. Nico is cis scum. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, the minions. They're all pansexual and gender fluid. Transphobe or ally Avengers edition. Spoilers. Iron Man Tony Stark. Rainbow capitalist. Thor's an ally. After all, a transphobe is not worthy of wielding Mjolnir. Ant-Man is an ally. Wasp is an ally. Hank Pym is an ally. Bruce Banner, he'll make you hormones. Captain America, he's of course an ally. He's capable of wielding Mjolnir. Plus, he sticks up for the little guy. He doesn't like bullies. Hawkeye is an ally. Quicksilver is an ally. Scarlet Witch is an ally. If you are in the WandaVision situation, you would likely be in a gender-affirming role. Black Panther is an ally, of course. Vision is one of the biggest allies there is. Carol Danvers is an ally. Falcon's an ally. Nick Fury, he's not only an ally, but will know you're trans long before you do. Black Widow, of course she's an ally. Bucky's an ally, he knows what it's like to be in a role that was assigned to him but he didn't choose. Doctor Strange becomes an ally in the end, but when he starts off he's not a very good guy. War Machine's an ally. Pepper's an ally. Happy's an ally and will help you get your hormones. Jane is trans. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Spider-Man. Is there any doubt in any of our minds that he is a trans ally? Transphobe or ally? Blue's Clues edition. Everyone's an ally. And Blue and Magenta are a lesbian couple. Transphobe or ally? Me Too edition. Spoilers. Thank you to Lorraine O'Donoghue for making this request over on my Patreon. I'm not going to be doing the kids in this series because the kids are basically playing as themselves. And also, they don't really have much of a personality in the show, so I'm not going to be covering them. Raymond, he'll make you a cup of coffee or tea when you come out as a congratulations. Also, he's comfortable enough in his masculinity that he was comfortable wearing that Queen of Hearts costume. So... Yeah, he's definitely an ally. Rudy's an autistic gay trans man. And yes, I do ship him and Raymond together. Bobby is trans. Mickey John is autistic and an ally. Dr. Juno, she prescribes her trans patients hormones. Tina, she's a trans drag queen. No wonder she has all those fancy costumes just at the ready. Plus, Pretty Pink Taxi genuinely slaps as a song. Chuck is gay and an ally. Nurse Hendry's an ally and will double check your name and pronouns on the form to make sure they are correct. Louie's an ally. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. Granny Murray, she's very lovely and accepting. She would definitely help you pick out a name and wardrobe if you want to. Plus, she would also use gendered words of encouragement if that's something you would like. Transphobe or ally soul edition. Spoilers. Joe, he's the kind of guy you want to come out to. And I imagine a lot of students have come out to him. 
Plus, if you come out to him, he'll tell you all about the jazz legend, Billy Tipton. Curly's trans, and I think Joe was the first person he came out to. Joe's mom, she worries a lot about your transition, but supports you. Dorothea Williams, she's an ally. She'll tell you some story about a fish and their gender. Jerry is non-binary. 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 Terry is non-binary. Moonwind, he'd probably tell you he was trans in a past life. Connie's an egg trans boy. Dens, he's a cool guy and he sort of gives off the vibes of he's very supportive of his trans daughter. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, 22. 22 is non-binary. Transphobe or ally? Mean Girls edition. Spoilers. Katie wants to be a good ally, but she's a bit self-centered, so probably not. Katie's parents are allies. Miss Norbury will probably be an ally. Mr. Duval, he'd try his best to stop transphobia. Damien, he's gay and most certainly would be an ally. Janice is a transphobe and doesn't respect Katie's name. Coach Carr, not only does he teach sex equals death, but he also has a wildly inappropriate relationship with a student and is an all-around creep. Karen will ask you a whole lot of uncomfortable questions. Gretchen is a homophobic turf. Jason is a chaser. Aaron is a chaser. Kevin is autistic and an ally. Kylie is an ally. Miss George, she sort of has whatever attitude, so in that way she'd be an ally, but she really would not be an advocate for trans rights. And finally, Regina George. She would lie about cis people being trans and out them to their families. Transphobe or ally clue edition. Spoilers. Mr. Green is gay. And yes, I know about the joke at the end where he says he's gonna go sleep with his wife. But frankly, I think that's just a cover. And that being said, everyone else is a homophobe and then therefore by extension is a transphobe. Transphobe or ally legally blonde edition. Spoilers. Elle Woods. She's not only an ally because she refuses to use the D slur, but she's also trans. Brooke's an ally. Vivian starts out as a transphobe but becomes an ally in the end. Emmett's an ally. Chutney's a transphobe. Warner is a chaser. Paulette's an ally and she'll do nails for anyone who comes out and wants their nails done. Serena's an ally. Callahan is a transphobe and a chaser. Enig is gay and an ally. Margo is an ally. David is a chaser. Stormwell's a transphobe. The UPS guy is an ally. Now, before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans. And stuff. Finally, Enrique. Now, I think Enrique is actually bi. They claim he has a boyfriend, which is true, but he's also having an affair, so I think he's bi. Or possibly pan. Transphobe or ally? Brooklyn Nine-Nine edition. Everyone's an ally, which is surprising considering they're cops. Transphobe or ally? The Magic School Bus edition. Miss Frizzle, she'll tell you about the difference between sex and gender. Carlos was a trans boy. Phoebe's a transphobe. She'll say something on the lines of, there weren't any trans people at her old school. Arnold is non-binary. Wanda's an ally. Keisha's an ally. Janet's trans. Dorothy's trans. Ralphie would be a huge ally. Liz is an ally. The school bus is an ally. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, showing more trans stuff. Finally, the principal. The principal is an ally. Transphobe or ally, Bluey edition. Everyone's an ally and Mackenzie's non-binary. Transphobe or ally, has been hotel edition. Spoilers. Charlie's non-binary and does drag. Charlie's an S-tier non-binary name. Not to mention they just give off really strong NB vibes. Vaggie is a trans woman and a trans elder. Angel Dust is a gender non-conforming trans guy. I think Angel Dust jokes while they're edgy are gender affirming. Cherry Bomb is a trans woman in T for T with Angel Dust. Alistair is a trans guy. He has strong trans guy vibes. Husk doesn't care at all. Nifty misgenders a whole bunch of characters. Transphobe. The Egg Boys. They're trans boys and they don't know they're trans yet. Sir Potentious. Transphobe becomes better in the end. Adam, he's the first. Word I can't say here. Transphobe. Lute's a transphobe. Valentino's a rainbow capitalist. Vox is a rainbow capitalist. Carmilla is a transphobe. Rocky is a chase. Him Trench has no opinion on trans people. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. 
When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Katie Kiljoy. She's a homophobe and a transphobe. Transphobe or Alice Scott Pilgrim takes off edition. Spoilers. Scott Pilgrim, he's less of a chaser here than in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, but he still has some chaser qualities left over. Wallace, he's gay and an ally. Steven's an ally. Kim is trans. Knives is an ally. Ramona, she's buying an ally. Also, her hair is amazing. Stacy's an ally. Julie, like I said last time, she's an ally and will warn you about transphobes so you can avoid them. Matthew Patel is an ally. Todd's queer and an ally and might I add, I really like his relationship with Wallace in here. Lucas Lee's an ally. Roxy is queer and an ally. Ken and Kyle are trans. Gideon is a chaser. Old Scott, I had can that he is old Wallace's husband. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Envy Adams. Envy Adams is a performative ally. Transphobe or ally fight club edition. Spoilers. The narrator is an ally. When he says Marla doesn't belong in the testicular cancer support group, he doesn't say it's because she's a woman. No, he just says she doesn't belong there because he knows that sometimes women can get testicular cancer too. Carla pretends to be trans in order to enter the testicular cancer support group. Bob, he'd be a huge ally. He knows what it's like to have dysphoria in his body and understands what that's like and feelings of being incomplete as masculinity, so he would be an ally. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Tyler. Now I know Tyler and the narrator are the same person, but I'm classifying them separately because they have separate personalities. That being said, Tyler would be a transphobe. Now as a feminine trans woman myself, it's a little strange for me watching this film, but people feeling like they're not masculine enough because that wasn't my own experience. So I want to hear from you. Specifically, I want to hear from trans men. What do you think of Fight Club? And how does it relate to your masculinity? Let me know down in the comments. Transphobe or ally M&M's edition. Everyone's an ally. And the green M&M is trans because she used to be a peanut M&M, but she had her nut removed. Transphobe or ally McDonald land edition. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by McDonald's. I want to make that absolutely clear. I am in full solidarity and support of the boycott McDonald's. Genocide is not okay and should not be propagated and supported. That being said, let's get started. Ronald McDonald, definitely a rainbow capitalist. He's probably the biggest rainbow capitalist there is. And by that matter, pretty much all his friends are rainbow capitalists. And I can't believe I need to say this, but we need to talk about Grimace. Sure, his people were colonized, but you can tell a lot about someone based on the company they spend with each other. Transphobe or ally Phineas and Ferb edition. Phineas and Ferb. They definitely try to do something gender affirming for you if you came after them. Perry the Platypus is non-binary. Bahi is non-binary. Isabella's trans. How do I know this? The monster truck episode. Seriously, how else do you explain that voice she did? Also, she's nothing like her uncle Ben. Vanessa is a hardcore ally. Candace would try to out you. Now Buford. He may be a bully, but even he has standards. He's an ally. Jeremy Johnson sort of has a whatever attitude to trans people, which is actually a good attitude. Phineas and Ferb's mom, she has no idea what you're talking about and doesn't care. Father, well, he wouldn't really know the difference. Stacy is a good friend and will try to tell Candace, why are you so concerned about trans people? It doesn't make any sense. Ally. Major Monogram was a transphobe. In one episode, Perry the Platypus was cross-dressing and he laughed at him. Transphobe. Carl's gay and trans. Lil Susie's a transphobe and you know it. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Dr. Heinz Doofensmertz. He is trans. There was a whole episode about this. Happy Groundhog Day! Transphobe or I like Groundhog Day! Spoilers! Phil, he starts out as a sexual harasser and a misogynist, but he gets better in the end, and I mean transphobia sort of goes with misogyny, so yeah. To be honest, I wish transphobes would go into a time loop until they become decent people. Also, it really bugs me the fact that, like, his alarm clock goes off at 6 o'clock, and it takes about an hour and a half to go from Puxatawney to Pittsburgh. But yet, he never thinks of leaving. And they literally say in the film that the groundhog sees its shadow at 7.30 in the morning. So really, there should be time for him if he were to just skip the broadcast and go on back. It makes sense that, like, if he just 
rush his way out, like, just throw on some clothes and head out, he probably could have made it. Not to mention I could do the whole I'm God thing too. Cause I mean, think about it, like, you're trans, your phone battery's at 15%, and the last thing you ate was a slice of cheesecake. Carol's an ally, she gives trans parent vibes. Kenny's a nice guy, probably an ally. The DJs would definitely tell a transphobic joke. Ken's a nice guy, but he would also say something along the lines of, what do you mean you're transgender? Like, he doesn't understand it, but... If you really explained it to him, you'd probably be okay with it. Miss Langster would gender you correctly. She's an ally. The homeless man is an ally. Ned Ryerson, I 100% buy the fan theory that he is responsible for the time loop. And the only reason Phil got out was because he bought life insurance. And yeah, he's also gay and an ally. Nancy, it really bugs me that Phil called her Rita and she didn't get mad over that. Like, what the hell? Buster is a transphobe. He gives me the sort of vibes of he's the kind of guy who would run a gender reveal party and it would go horribly, horribly wrong. Doris is kind and an ally. Debbie and Fred are allies. Rita is an ally and she would tell trans women how to stay safe out there. Now, before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. Finally, Larry. Larry thinks transphobes are weird. And he's right. Transphobe or ally? Heather's the musical edition. Spoilers. Veronica is a performative ally. JD will willingly spread rumors about your queerness, even if those rumors are false. He is a transphobe. Heather Chandler is trans. She has the line of, are you pulling my word I can't say on here? She's trans. By extension, I think Heather Duke and Heather McNara would be allies. Kurt and Ram are homophobes and transphobes. Martha loves the Princess Bride. She is bisexual. Veronica's parents are so aloof they would not notice if their kid was trans. Big Bud Dean is a transphobe. Pauline is a big performative ally. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Paul and Bill. They are closeted gay guys and they eventually do come out. And of course they would be allies. Transphobe or ally, evil dead. Spoilers. Thank you to Teresa on Patreon for making this request. If God, if you're trans, he'll tease you about it, but he's not trying to be malicious about it. After all, all transphobes are assholes, but not all assholes are transphobes. Not to mention Scott in the end of the film loses a certain body part that I can't talk about on here. Yeah. Cheryl's an ally. Shelly's an ally. Linda's trans. I suspect she named herself after a certain photographer and animal rights activist, which is something a lot of trans people do now that I think about it. If you try to say that trans people didn't exist in this time, you will be blocked. Transphobic revisionist history will not be tolerated here. Professor Raymond's a transphobe. Bobby Joe's a transphobe. Annie's a transphobe. Egg is a transphobe. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Ash. Ash is a huge ally and an overall great person. By the way, if you know a trans femme person in your life, jewelry is a great gift you can give them. Just saying. Transphobe or ally turning red edition. Spoilers. Maylee's an ally. She knows what it's like to have a big discomfort with your body for something you can't control. Four Towns, since this takes place in 2002, they're probably not allies. Miriam's an ally. Priya's an ally. Abby's an ally. Tyler is a performative ally. Maylee's father is an ally. Ming Lee and the rest of her relatives, they are transphobes because they expect people to hide their true self. Happy Chinese New Year to those who celebrate it. Transphobe or ally Mulan edition. Spoilers. Mulan is trans mask. Mushu is an ally. Li Shang is an ally. Shang Yu is an ally. Chai Fu is a transphobe. The Emperor is a transphobe. Yao, despite some of his more toxic masculine traits, he's actually a really supportive ally. Qin Po is an ally. And the first ancestor. He's an ally, not just because he's voiced by George Takei. Transphobe or ally Lego Batman edition. Everyone's pansexual. Don't deny it. Transphobe or ally the Big Bang Theory edition. Everyone's transphobic. 
Are you really surprised? Transphobe or ally? Her edition! Spoilers! In honor of Valentine's Day, I'd like to cover the movie Her, one of my favorite movies of all time. Given that Her is a romantic film by AI, this sounds like the perfect time to talk about it. Theodore is a sex-positive demisexual, and yes, I 100% buy the idea that there will be companies that market themselves on having human creators working for them and not using AI. Although if that's already going on, I would not be surprised. Catherine is a transphobe. She has the idea that trans men only transition because it's hard to be a woman. When in fact, all genders have their struggles. Paul, he's a bit confused, especially when he says, you're like a woman on the inside. But he's also an ally, like, he has no problem with Theodore digging an OS, and like, even inviting them on a double date. A confused ally, but an ally nonetheless. The alien is a trans-inclusionary misogynist. Amy is an ally, she was immediately on board with the idea of Theodore digging an OS. Charles is a liberal guy. He's an ally. Isabella is an extreme ally, she goes well above and beyond what is expected of her. Tatiana, she immediately accepted Samantha, so like, I would imagine she would be an ally of trans people too. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. Samantha, as an AI, she's taught to say trans rights are human rights. Also, she's polyamorous and in a relationship with 642 people. To be honest, I would not be surprised if someone learns how to date ChatGPT soon. Transphobe or ally bridge to Terabithia edition. Spoilers. I mean it this time. This is going to be a slightly different episode of Transphobe or Ally. When I was a kid, I, I saw this movie and the only scene I remembered was... The shoe scene, which is a weird scene to remember until you realize I'm trans and I was desperate for any sort of thing remotely close, even though this isn't even close. Now, when I usually write these episodes of Transphobia Ally, I have a good idea of where things are going to be in the first 20 minutes of a movie. But things changed about two-thirds of the way through the movie. Now, that being said, I'm going to first talk about the first two-thirds of the film and then talk about the rest of it. So... For the first two-thirds of the film, I find it interesting how they talk about gender in this film. That they talk about how the shoes, for example, that Jess does not want to wear girl shoes. Plus, there's also the significance of you run like a girl, stuff like that. You're good for a boy. They say stuff like that. And then there's a whole subplot about bathrooms and accessibility of bathrooms. And I think that's a very interesting perspective to bring to a children's film. And that made me think, yeah, Jess and Leslie are probably trans. That makes some sense. And that their gender bickering is actually gender affirming to them, which makes a whole lot more sense. And that Jess's parents want to be supportive, but they also don't have a lot of money to get him a lot of boy stuff, which is unfortunately true. Like, he can get away with, like, wearing bigger clothing, but you can't really get away with wearing big shoes. And as an atheist, I also really liked the discussion of how they brought that into this film. It was quite refreshing to see that even being discussed in a children's film. But holy sh**, that ending. That ending. Yes, it's a heartbreaking ending, and I cried last night, but then I was thinking, oh, should I say Leslie is trans? And then I thought about it a bit more, because... The problem with doing that is that there's the element of barrier gaze. And for those of you who don't know, it's a generalized trope in fiction where queer characters are unalive by something. And I didn't know if I wanted to do that. But then I thought about it and I'm thinking, part of the message of the film was to understand that losing someone can happen at any time. And to value that. And to value people around you. Part of the message of the film was to value the people around you. Because you don't know if they're going to lose their life. And unfortunately for a lot of us in the trans community. That is a real reality we live with. Due to the violence in our society against us. And healthcare issues we face. This is a real problem we face, and 
a lot of trans people are gone too soon. And I guess that's just where I wanted to leave it on. I, I didn't think I could do a traditional transphobic ally on this one because it was very heartbreaking. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Transphobe or Ally Arthur edition. Now, this is an interesting one because Arthur has a ton of episodes, but yet they never had a trans episode, which I think is a real disappointment. But we can still extrapolate based on what we know about the characters. Arthur is an ally. Binky is an ally. Muffy's an ally and would probably get her dad to pay for your gender affirmation surgery. Mr. Ratburn is queer, so he would likely be an ally. Buster is an ally. There is an episode of Postcards from Buster where he went to see a family with two moms, and his only thing he had to say about that was, wow, this family has a lot of moms. No judgment there, he's an ally. Brain is an ally, and yes, I do know about one of his voice actors. Sue Ellen's an ally. Prunella is an ally. Francine is an ally. Carl is autistic and an ally. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, DW. DW becomes a cop. She's a transphobe. Transphobe or ally Goodwill Hunting Edition. Spoilers. Sean, now he does make a sex change joke in the movie, but to me, it doesn't seem like he has malice towards trans people. What I'm curious about is how he would be as a therapist if he had a trans client. That's why I'm excited to announce, for the first time ever on Transphobe or Ally, we have a special guest and licensed professional counselor Alexander from Arrive Therapy. Alexander, what do you think? What are some signs that a therapist might be supportive of their trans client? Hello everyone, I am Alexander. I am an LGBTQ therapist, the owner of Arrive Therapy, which is an all LGBTQ counseling practice, a licensed professional counselor. And I'm here to talk to you today about how to find a good therapist if you're trans. So the first thing I would tell you not to do is don't go to your insurance panel and look for a therapist that has clicked off LGBTQ specialty. The vast majority of times, those folks who are registering for those panels are just clicking on as many things as they can to kind of like get as many referrals as possible. The vast majority of times, those folks don't know anything about trans folks, they are not well equipped to be working with you. So I'd say that talk to a person, you want to ideally find somebody that has been working with a friend of yours, someone else that you know is trans, that really is within the network of the LGBTQ community that where you live locally. Second thing is like talk with them, vet them ahead of time, ask them like how many trans clients have they worked with, ask them some kind of general things about trans folks and see if they kind of know anything. You also want to kind of see if they feel comfortable like listen to the language that they use. Do they use outdated language? They kind of stumble over their words. Do they seem generally kind of anxious? That's going to mean that they haven't really done a whole lot of work with trans people. You want to be careful. And that's one of the reasons that Arrive Therapy exists. We're all LGBTQ. A lot, a lot of us are trans therapists ourselves. This is what we spend our lives doing. We spend our lives really supporting people around their gender journeys, knowing what's going on within our community and the complexities of the intersection between mental health, gender dysphoria, and a person's trans journey. The main thing I want to really encourage you is to don't assume that the person knows a lot. Don't assume that the person is going to be firming, supportive therapist. Many therapists may want to be, but they don't know anything and they haven't taken the time to educate themselves. I so often hear from people that went to a therapist and that person said X and Y thing and really impacted their therapeutic journey. And then they kind of had to start over and find a therapist who was more educated and more trained. Get on all that stuff and look us up at ArriveTherapy.com. This is what we do. This is what we're here for. And we look forward to talking with you. Thanks, Alexander. I highly recommend you follow him on Instagram and TikTok, as well as subscribing to his YouTube channel. But given Alexander's response, I think Sean may not be an expert on trans issues. Given what Sean says in the film about wanting to know his client, that he can't learn it from a book, I feel like at the very least, if you told him you were trans, he would do the research, and then whatever the case be, he will say, I'm here to support you no matter what. So I think overall he'd be an ally, but he wouldn't be a good first choice in therapist for a trans client. Up next is Skylar. She's a bit elitist, but makes an effort to be an ally. Chucky and the rest of the brothers make misogynistic and ableist jokes, but would probably be accepting if you came out. Chucky would probably tell you to get on with your transition if you were feeling nervous about it because he knows it's what's best for you. Professor Lambro. I've met his type. 
transphobe. And finally, Will. He would clock you, but if it were just the two of you alone, he'd be like, I got no problem with trans people. Do I see him as fighting transphobia? Eh. But he certainly wouldn't be transphobic. Transphobe or ally scrubs. If they had a trans patient, they'd probably be supportive when they're on the clock. But when they're off the clock, they'll talk crap about you. Especially Dr. Kelso. Although I don't see the janitor doing that. Also, Elliot's trans. Transphobe or ally the Godfather edition. Spoilers. This is a special episode of Transphober Ally, dedicated to my grandmother, who I recently lost. She was an incredible woman, and she very much taught me how to be a woman. When I first came out, she said, I'm so glad I finally have a granddaughter. She was a big supporter of me doing drag and making these videos. She definitely meant a lot to me, and henceforth I shall be known as Sally Barbara Pride in her honor. So thank you, Grandma. There are a few things I want to make sure are absolutely clear. I still wish to have privacy on this. I will not be broadcasting my grief. I will also not be mixing my personal life in with these videos, and please respect my privacy. Also, if you try to proselytize me, you will be blocked. If you wish to honor her in some way, I recommend making a donation to Planned Parenthood. I am not affiliated with Planned Parenthood. It was just one of her favorite charities, and it would be a great way if you honored her that way. The Godfather and The Godfather Part Two were some of her favorite films, so this is how I'm gonna be honoring her. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Bonasara is an ally. He asked Corleone to do him a favor to avenge his daughter, which, is of going above and beyond, and I have a feeling he would do the same if he had a trans kid. Luca Brasi is a transphobe. Michael Corleone, he believed that the genitals of the child should determine which role they fit in his group. He is a transphobe. K is an ally. Tom respects people's privacy. He's an ally. Sonny is a transphobe. Fredo is a transphobe. Clamaza says, leave the transphobia, take the cannoli. I agree with that sentiment. And finally, Vito. He's the perfect ally. And I'm not just saying that because he gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. Transphobe or ally Kung Fu Panda edition. Spoilers. Ho, oh, he was confused by a beard on a woman, but he also has two dads. I lean towards ally. Also, I think Poe is autistic, which is weird because Jack Black supports Autism Speaks. F him. Tai Long is a transphobe. Ugwe is an ally. He believes trans people are enlightened. Mr. Ping is an ally. He believes to be insert gender identity here only requires that you believe you are insert gender identity here. Tigress starts out as a transphobe but becomes an ally in the end. Viper starts out as a transphobe but becomes an ally in the end. Mantis has some insecurities about themselves so would probably be an ally. Monkey starts out as a transphobe but becomes an ally in the end. Crane starts out as a transphobe but becomes an ally in the end. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Master Shifu. He starts out as a transphobe, but becomes an ally in the end. Transphobe or ally Megamind edition. Megamind's a chaser. Minion is non-binary. Titan is a chaser. Metroman's a performative ally. Roxanne is an ally. Transphobe or ally Galaxy Quest edition. None of the characters would really care if you were trans or not. However, the exception being Jason. Jason is very much based on William Shatner and what we know about William Shatner, yikes. I don't think he would be an ally. Transphobe or ally Family Guy edition. Peter. Now Peter has this interesting complicated relationship with gender. In some episodes, Peter's transphobic. In other episodes, Peter is trying to be trans. And in some episodes, Peter appears to be gender fluid. So I don't really know what to say about Peter. Lois is a performative ally. There are several points throughout the series where she makes very disrespectful comments about Ida behind her back. But when she's talking directly to her, she's not making those same comments. Chris. Now Chris is an ally. He would support you no matter what. Brian. He thinks he's an ally, but he's really just a performative ally when it comes down to it. Stewie. Stewie's very queer. 
However, it's sort of hard to put a label on Stewie. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more transept. I know this list has been rather short, and if you want to hear about other Family Guy characters, please get this video up to 5,000 views. Finally, Ron. Yep, that's right. The Griffins have three sons, and this is canon. Plus, I also think given the whole controversy with like Mila Kunis, I feel like they should definitely take the opportunity and replace her. Transphobe or ally Bob's Burgers edition. Bob, he's an ally and mostly straight. He's friends with Marshmallow, who is trans, and he would name a burger Tender Euphoria to show his support. Linda's a gigantic ally. She strikes me as the kind of person who would wear a t-shirt that says proud of my trans kick. Tina, she's not only an ally, but she has a thing for trans boys. Louise, yes, she's mischievous, but she also has a heart to her. Therefore, she is an ally. Jimmy Pesto is a rainbow capitalist, and he would get into a competition with Bob where he would try to make himself look like the bigger ally. Jimmy Pesto, he doesn't know what being trans is, but he also doesn't really care. Zeke is a trans boy. He gives off strong trans boy vibes. Gail, she's an ally and will sing a song about you. Mr. Fron, he could go really either way. He just really cares about his job and whether he's gonna lose it or not. Teddy, he's an ally and would try to tell you a story about someone he knew who was trans, but the story wouldn't make much sense. Mort, he respects the wishes of trans people who come to see him. That being said, we should all make our wishes clear because our timing is limited. Daryl's an ally, he would help you with your transition. Andy and Ollie are allies. If you're trans, they suggest the names Andy or Ollie to you. Mr. Fish Ogre, he's a rainbow capitalist. He doesn't really care if you're trans or not, like, he'll be in the same room as you and he can get along with you, but he's also not going to advocate for you. Hugo, he would use the fact that you're trans against you, but not because you're trans, it's just because Hugo's a jerk. Ron is an ally, he would tell trans folks to calm down. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Jean. Jean is an egg. She calls herself a woman throughout the series. Transphobe or ally the talented Mr. Ripley edition. Spoilers. Thank you to Callie Green for making this request over on Patreon. Tom and Dicky, they have this big love affair going on. There is no stray explanation for the bathtub scene. And really, the plot of the film is about jealousy. And from a queer perspective, that makes some sense that there is this connection they have there. Freddy is gay. Yes, he says the line, don't you wanna every woman you see at least once? But to me, that seems more like projection. I mean, think about it. Most heterosexuals don't need to say something like that to, like, assert their heterosexuality. As for the other characters, I don't really know what to say about them. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Transphobe or Ally the Matrix Edition. Spoilers. In honor of the Matrix 25th anniversary today, Let's go through the characters of the Matrix. If you want to hear more about the trans analogy of the Matrix, watch my video on it. It's one of my best videos and I feel like it didn't get enough attention. Neo is trans. Morpheus is trans. Trinity is trans. The Oracle is a big ally. She will tell you, it's not my place to tell you what gender you are. That's only for you to figure out. Cypher is a performative ally. Tank is an ally. Dozer is an ally. The kid with the spoon is a huge ally. Mouse is a trans boy. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. Agent Smith is a transphobe, which is really surprising considering Hugo Weaving's other work. Transphobe or ally killer clowns from outer space edition. Spoilers. Mike is an ally. He would warn you about transphobia. Debbie is also an ally. She would do the same. Rich and Paul are creeps and transphobes. Dave is a cop. He is a transphobe. Sergeant Mooney is a cop and a transphobe. Gene would be a little bit confused, but he would be an ally, I think. Mr. Myers could go either way, I'm not really sure. Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, the clowns. 
They don't care if you're trans or not. They will still try to unalive you. Transphobe or ally, Ghostbusters 2016 edition. I don't see any of these characters being transphobes. That being said, I think this movie is not as bad as it was led on to be. But on the other hand, it's also just not great. Even if you put the reboot element aside, it's not great. And the thing that really just sticks out to me, and this may seem a little odd, is it feels like the characters are playing what neurotypicals think autism looks like. Whereas the original Ghostbusters, given Dan Aykroyd, is very much an experience of here's some authentic autism for you, but to me it just seems more like an impersonation. Transphobe or Ally Luca edition. Spoilers. Luca and Alberto. They're obviously in a relationship together, and no one can convince me otherwise. They would be allies to trans people. Especially considering you could also read the sea monster thing as a trans allegory. Julia. She would accept you without question. She would have many questions, though. Luca's parents are transphobes. I mean, they basically tried to pawn him off in this conversion therapy type situation. Luca's grandmother. She's a huge ally. Would not only be very supportive of you, but would tell you about her own experiences as well. Urkel is a transphobe. Need I say more? Now before I get to the last one, make sure to like this video and leave a respectful comment. When you do that, you tell the algorithm, show me more trans stuff. And finally, Julia's father. He's obviously an ally. I mean, he's very personable, especially once you get to know people. Transphobe or ally castaway edition. Chuck wouldn't care if you're trans or not, just so long as you rescue him.